follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, I say, look at me inside, inside that lovely star. Beautiful. How are you all this morning? Uh, we're all right, says Hannah. Bruce? Oh, he doesn't know. Cat? Yay. Yeah, she cat's happy, cat's happy. <laughs> I know, she's a little bit too wet. She's just been doing things like just showing her mouth on preview and things like that, which mean nothing to you, but poor old Bruce nearly jumped out of his skin. Anyway, let's do today's early bird. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I've got to click. Oh, I'll be coming back. Come back. Right now, this is, I haven't got preview either, Bruce, anywhere. There we go. Yeah, no, it's in exactly the right place, Bruce, you're all right. Free spirit, brand new, brand new, brand new. This is Anna Maria Fluid. This is the fabric you're gonna be seeing in the next hour. It's a brand new collection. It only came out in America a few weeks ago. Oh, I'm sounding a bit rough this morning, aren't I? Anyway, it's Anna Maria Horner Fluent 5-inch Charm Pack of 42 pieces. Let's have a look at it. You are going to be seeing all of these fabrics in the next, well, in this hour. In this hour, because we are launching brand new Anna Marie Horner in this next hour. <gasps> look beautiful. Right, you don't know where it's going, but it's already flying out. That's beautiful, isn't it, that one? Look. There, it's such a stunning design, this. The whole thing is beautiful. Look. We love the colours, we love her fabrics, because you know, everything she draws, she draws from life to start with. Whether she's on tour, whether she's at home, whether she's on holiday. Look at those beautiful colours. Be look, stunning, stunning, stunning. I'm not even halfway through yet, look. If you love this, wait till you see the whole collection in a second. Beautiful, beautiful fabrics. 100% cotton, made by Free Spirit. Oh, look, 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 look. Nearly there now. Look, wait till you see that one. Oh, that, that's uh, what, uh, um, I can't remember what it's called now. Earn, earn, something earn, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. No. no, that's not what it was called. Anyway, look, beautiful. How much are we going to then, Han? Well done if you already checked out. Earn it, that fabric is called Earn It. Right, for fourteen ninety nine, fourteen pounds and nine ten pence. Glorious colour, fabulous fabrics. You're getting a whole uh, selection of the whole collection. I'm not saying you're getting everything. A selection of the whole collection. Right, morning, says Paula uh, in Deep Car. Claire says, good morning. Beautiful shirt. Margaret says, good morning. Hannah, Bruce and Kat, loving that shirt. Uh, Mari says, good morning. Uh, gorgeous. She's called it an gorgeous shirt. Like, oh no, I was going to say something very rude then. I won't. It's Saturday, <laughs> Saturday morning at eight, eight o'clock. There's enough going on here without me making it worse. Yeah. Well, I couldn't possibly with it. I haven't got a sore throat, but it sounds like I've got a sore throat, doesn't it? Weird. Uh, maybe, did I eat, I didn't eat late last night. I didn't eat chocolate yesterday. I don't know what it is then. And it hasn't been, gr has it been gruff this morning while we've been prepping. 
Oh, just when I went on air. Never mind. $14.99. Make sure you check out, check out, check out. Stunning, gorgeous, brand new. Free spirit, Anna Maria Horner. Brand new collection. Anna. It's the only pre-cut we've got to this collection at the moment. Message on my bottom. Morning, John and team. Happy New Year. Looking forward to the show from Heather. Thank you, Heather. Now, Heather, did you know? Oh, no, you won't know. You won't know. I was going to say, um, somebody we work with, uh, uh, she doesn't work upstairs, she works downstairs. Chloe comes in from Shropshire every day. That's where she, she lives in Shropshire and she drives in every day. Uh, what are you saying? What are you saying, Han? New year, new hobby. What's yours? Better be sewing. Mine isn't. Mine's trying to do my job properly. Morning, John and team from a very wet Cumbernauld. Love your shirt. Brightens up a very dark morning from Elizabeth in North Lanarkshire, Scotland. Louise, morning. It's dark, rain and windy here, so I'm not budging. Lou says, howdy do de all. Now, at the wind last night. <gasps> oh, my word. It was incredible. And then this morning, I was driving down the A46 and my whole car got pushed across the road like that with the wind was so strong. Beautiful. I love all these fabrics. Oh, are they in the right place? Yeah, there they are. $14.99. Keep going through, keep going through. It's, the, it's part one of my early bird today. What'd you say? You're doing it in French? Uh, Hannah did the whole of our prep meeting in French this morning. Well, not all of it. <clears throat> the bit she knew the words for in French, she did. She did bonjour and she did... Yeah, and then what else did she do? Oh, what? Garlic. That's not even, gar that's not even gar French for garlic, though. Anyway, $14.99. Loads of you coming in. Morning, John. Love the striking quilt behind you from Liz. This one, Liz. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock with Emma Bradford. And it's very easy because it's just half square triangles. I know. He says, yes, it is just half square triangles. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'll just put that over there. Right, now the other early bird. It's all about the Arna this morning. All about the Arna. Hang on, I don't know where the... Um... There we go. Brilliant. Now, 149.99. What are you getting in here? You're getting nine large spools and ten small spools, all of various weights. And look at this. This is lovely, because when you open the box, look... Right, we're going to crash the lowest price it's been, right? So in here you've got 12 weight, in here you've got 50 weight, in here you've got 80 weight, and in here you've got 50 weight. What are all those weights you're saying? Well, actually, let me, let me, um, let Hannah do a crash. Right, the lowest it's ever been to is 129.99. That's £20 saving. Not today, though. Early bird, early bird, early bird. This is your price. Oh! <laughs> it should be 149.99. It should be 149.99. Let, sh let me show you what you've got, right? So you know 50 weights. So, so these two boxes here, these are both 50 weights, right? Now, it, it doesn't really matter because if, you, if you're not an Anna Maria fad, you're going you're gonna to love these colours. Look. So you've got the three in there of 50 weight. So 50 weight is for your everyday sewing. Three large spools. Uh, beautiful colours, aren't they? Stunning, right? So in there are your 50 weights large spools. In here are your 50 weight small spools. Look at the gorgeous colours. So it, it, does, it wouldn't have to be on me a fabric. You know what I mean? It'd go with any fabrics at all. They've got 200 metres on them. They've got 1,300 metres on them, I think. All hunchback cotton, all Egyptian cotton taken to Italy. I, I don't know what basics she's done. It's just pick colours she likes, right? So these are for your 50 weight. These are for your regular, regular sewing, right? So, okay, they're flying out, flying out, flying out. Right, so then we've got 12 weight. Now, what 12 weight is, is the lower the number, the thicker the thread. It's all right, Han, that's right. Hannah's not worked with me for a while. She thinks I don't know anything. It's thicker, John. It's thicker. So these here are for your hand tie quilting. If you want to do some embroidery, some blanket stitch, some buttonhole stitch, something like that. These are all your 12 weights here. But the colours are beautiful, aren't they? 
Now you can use this in your sewing machine, but don't put it in your bobbin at the same time as your top. You only put it in your top for your like really beautiful top stitching and things like that. Then of course, we've got 80 weight which is the lovely fine, this is what Jenny Jackson uses to do her piecing. And this is what uh, Sally Ann Harrison uses to do her reverse applique. So these are the really, really beautiful, fine, very, very fine threads. So you get all of those, all of those there, 50 pounds off, 99 pounds. And it's still on split pay, look, still on split pay. I oh, know. So you get the, the you get the big box. They all come in. You get the four little boxes that they all come in, like that. So you can give them as gifts if you wanted to. You give them to gifts as people, couldn't you? If you do a lot of hand sewing or oh, any sort of sewing, it's just fantastic. Really, really good to have in your um in your stash. Andrea says good morning. Good morning, Andrea. Ninety-nine pounds. Ninety-nine pounds. Look at that split. Pay thirty-three, thirty-three. New year, new you, new hobby. Beautiful, aren't they? Well, I'll slowly put those back in there. We have a price comparison for you. Oh, hang on. Right, they had them at £145. And their clearance is £125. How much have I got them for? £99.99. Oh no, 50 pounds off, 50 pounds off. Graphics will come back in, there you go, 99.99. Fewer than 20 of these now, fewer than 20 of these. And remember, because she's crashed, the price will go back up at midnight, just so you know. New year, new hobby, new thread. Oh what, new aura fill, yeah. <clears throat> and the, the big spools last forever. They go, for, well, no, I know they don't last forever. I don't want you emailing me in forever's time saying mine's just run out. Beautiful. Keep going through 99.99. It's part two of our um, early bird today. Right now, 14 left. 14 left. Tell your friends quickly. Message on the bottom. Uh, morning, me old fruit. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, couldn't find my glasses. Love to see you this morning from Lush Linda. Oh, do you know what, Lush Linda? I've had that kind of more. I was here on time, but then suddenly it was five to eight and I wasn't ready or anything. But I'm here now. I'm all right now. Oh, now, now, please, please, please check out. Loads of people suddenly put that in their baskets. Loads of you there. At 99 pounds and 99 pence. Split pay, 33, 33. Now remember, we send them to you, even if you take the split pay, we send them to you after you've paid the first split pay. And we charge no interest whatsoever. I oh, know. Right, please be careful. Please be careful. I'll, I'll show you, if there's any left later, I'll show you those again later on in the hour, right? Uh, so what's on today's menu, you're asking? Here it is. So we've got Annemir Horner Fluent Launch. That's the name of the new range, and it is beautiful. I love Annemir Horner anyway, but these, I have to say, are some of her best, best, best designs, right? Then at 9 o'clock, we've got uh, Emma Bradford's here, uh, and we're doing the Cave Facet Checkerboard. Now, the thing about this is, I'm allowed to tell you now, yeah, why not? Here's the quilt, there's the quilt, right? Now, you'll have seen, you might have seen the quilt before, right? But, 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 did you get it with the free K Facet book? No, look, we're giving you a free Quilts in Wales book to go with that quilt kit. So that's nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, we've got Miss It, oh, Miss It, Miss Out, didn't realise it was Miss It, Miss Out. Miss It, Miss Out, K Facet fabrics and pre-cuts. Then Emma's back at 11 doing the charming Carpenter's Star Quilt, which is the one you just saw behind me. There it is. Oh, hang on. Okay, it's not this one, it's the other one. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. It's the one behind me during the, the, um, the uh, early bed. Right, and then what's the last hour then? Can't remember, we've got another hour to go. Oh, quilting tools, quilting tools in the last hour. So now there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. 
uh, which is studio at sewingstreet.com. Oh, yeah, I'll do that in a second. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Uh, then, uh, now, I'll, I'll tell you in a second, right? Then the third, uh, second way is by Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting out. And says, morning, day seven of sorting out moustache. The comic boards have made such a difference. Uh, 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 what she meant to say was Hannah's video of her using the, the comic boards made such a difference. Uh, and then the third way is by uh, going by the website, www.sangstreet.com. What you do is you go to the website, you click on watch the show live. And then on the right-hand side there, you'll see a little white box. That white box is where you can write your message, and they're the ones that come up on my bottom later. Is she writing anything? Oh, yes, she is, but I can't see what she says. Hello, I'm Hannah, it says. Right, then, scroll down the page, there will be two columns, you see. On the left-hand side are things that we've shown already. And on the right-hand side is everything that's coming up, so you can pre-order if you've got to go out. And you can't stick around. Uh, look at those beautiful fabrics. This is the Ar or Anna Maria Horner. Launch, launch, launch of Fluent today. Oh, the fusible mat's not meant to be in there. In fact, in what size is that one? Is that the ironing board one? Yeah, yeah, it's the ironing board one, yeah. Uh, then, of course, they've got more fabric, more fabric, more fabric. We're not doing that in the 8 o'clock hour. We have no idea why it's jumped up there. Yeah, Hannah's not moved, it's moved itself. Look, oh, there's the bundle, the bundle, the mega bundle, mega bundle. And then the brand new extra white backing is stunning, stunning. That'd be lovely in a dress, that one. Anyway, carry on, carry on, carry on. So then we've got more Anna Maria there, and then we've got two quilt kits. And some Anna Maria bundles under £20. Nice. Then... We go to Emma, doing the quilts in Wales. Uh, and then check checkerboard, checkerboard, checkerboard. Walls, tool, tool, tools. Uh, back, wadding, wadding. And then we've got Miss It, Miss Out, Cafe. Oh, that one's brand new. Oh, 85 and Famous, that's, cause it, that's his latest launch. What's that doing in there? Oh, I see. Well, you can blame Hayley. That's Hayley's fault. She got a little bit in the middle of the show yesterday because um, Hayley was producing me yesterday. She got a phone call from Joseph, her little boy, saying he wasn't very well and he needed to come home. So she then had to ring up somebody to go and collect him from school. Then the school rang saying, oh, your Joseph's not well. Uh, do you, would you want to send somebody? And she was like, oh, I already have, but OK. Uh, uh, no. Anyway, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. He's all he's good. He's good. He's good. Uh, there's more. Um, Cave, 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 cave. What? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Some of Hannah's favourites there. Then what have we got here? Oh, it's the tool hour. Tool hour, tool hour, tool hour. Now, now, now there's Emma Bradford's uh, second hour there. The big, big star quilt. The charming carpenter star. In three different colourways. Beautiful backing bundles. Then we go to tools. Oh, there's a lamp there as well. Won't be able to get through all of that. There's so much stuff in there. Anyway, 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 that's the whole day. That's the whole day. Now, what we're also saying today, because it's New Year, new hobby, um, and we've got Emma doing two quilts that both have beginner skills, you know, skill building. And we thought we'd say, if you want to send in your picture of your first quilt or your first make, preferably quilts, because obviously we're doing a quilting day today, or patchwork, you haven't quilted it yet, just if you've done your, your top, you've just done the patchwork and haven't quilted it yet, uh, do send it in. And the only way you can send in photographs is by email. So that was studio at sayingstreet.com, studio at sayingstreet.com. And we'll show as many as possible, right? Um, also, if you've got any questions for Emma, when, and Emma's two hours. Oh, you know how we started the show and Kat was really like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's behind the camera now going, oh, she's yawning away. She only likes a bit where I say hello and then she gets bored after that. So, um, what was I saying? So, if when Emma's on, you can get questions in either by email or by Facebook or by the, um, on, you know, on the website and things like that. But, uh, so any questions about actual making, uh, Emma's happy to answer them in her hours. Right, let's start, let's start, let's start because look at this gorgeous fabric. Brand new fabric. Uh, mega bundle. Ooh. -hoo. That was a can of Coke just being opened, I think. Other fizzy drinks are available. It wasn't beer. Right, so here we go. You get nine metres of fabric with half a metre for free. 
So you're paying for eight and a half meters. It's on split pay, 67.91. But you know what? Because it's such a big bundle, nine meters, 18 different fabrics. Yeah, so we decided in prep, we're gonna take another half meter off. Should, well, why not get a whole meter off this one? Well done if you already checked out. Hundred, everybody will pay for this mega bundle, 127.84, or do it on split pay, 63.92 twice if you want to. Oh, that's brand new. It was only launched in America. She only launched it in America about 10 or 11 weeks ago. It's that new. It's that new. And it's, it's one of her best. It's just beautiful. Oh, now, uh, before I start, would you have a, like to have a look at this slide? And then I'll show you through the fabrics. Can I have it on the big one, please, Bruce? Sorry. The visual language of colour and design can often express more than is possible with words. And you could say that my goal as an artist is to become fluent in these languages. As a first generation Greek American who has never quite reached fluency in Greek, I recently embarked on reconnecting with the language through audio lessons. I wonder if she's bought my audio book. Coincidentally, I, I could do it in Greek. I was creating, Tara Masalata, I was creating, is that even Greek? Uh, I was creating the beginnings of this collection as I was listening to both familiar and new words. The idea of language and fluency was a lovely pursuit in making this art. Yeah. Right. Shall we look at the fabrics? I love them. Right, I will show you them. Now, they are all available off the bolt by the half metre as well. But th they won't be reduced. This has been reduced because you're getting a metre for free. Anyway, look, look at these. Where do I start? Look, they are just stunning. Look, 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 look. I don't know the best way to do this because there's so many of them. Let me put that in shot there. There you go. So that's that one in pink. There's that one in the black and the yellow. Then you see this one we saw. Well, you saw all of these in the, in the five inch charm pack. But look how beautiful all of these now you're getting half a meter for each that's 44 inches wide machine washable quilting weight 100 percent cotton delightful now you will be able to buy them by the half meter if you're thinking i want to make a frock out of that one or a shirt or a handbag or something like that they're just the designs are just beautiful now look at these look 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 look, look. now i'm thinking no i'm not no thinking, John. Look. Now look at these. I adore these. Look at that one. And remember, she starts them all with a drawing, right? She starts them all with a drawing. She, in the old days, she used to do them as a pencil. Now she does it on her iPad or, or equivalent tablet. Oh, we got a picture of that one. Oh, look at that. What, she's, what, she's um, drawing in her bathroom? Oh, Look, there you go. There's her iPad, look. There she is. Not do, doing a selfie. And then in the other, and on the left-hand side, that's her in up. Is that in the bathroom? Yeah, there's the bathroom. There's the bathroom. You can see it now. Anyway, she doesn't live there anymore. She sold that house now. Right, back to the fabrics. Look. 18 different fabrics you're getting in here. Absolutely stunning. Look at this one. They're just beautiful. I will waft them all in a minute when we do them by the half metre. I just want you to see the mega bundle first of all. Look at that one there. Right, look at this one. Look at this last one. I saved this one for the end. Look. Now you're thinking, well, that's a lovely blue fabric. No, because look. How beautiful is that? They've got a picture of how that's being used. This is Anna Maria doing her own collage look. Using these fabrics. Beautiful. So all of those fabrics, nine meters in total, but you're only paying for eight. There's your applique. And then what's on the right hand side of that one? Okay, a quilt using some of this collection from Arna Maria. So, 
Nine meters of fabric, 18 different fabrics, but you're only paying for eight meters. Lovely, aren't they? Beautiful. Oh, lots of messages suddenly come through. Uh, the other Jan says, good morning, John. Another day of rain and high winds here in Portland. Carol says, morning, finishing a pro project. I started last year, 10 months in, and nearly finished the hand sewing. Kath says, morning, John. Dark and miserable here today, and I have to go out and watch the grandchildren or the granddaughter play football later. Isabel says, good morning. Good to hear your cheery voice. Well, it's not that cheery this morning, is it? Looking forward to receiving your calendar. Uh, Sharon says, they've all sold out now. The calendars have all gone now. Uh... Sharon says, morning, uh, day in Richmond, North Yorkshire, for me and Jamie, says Sharon. And then Cousin Susan says, Happy New Year. Same to you. And Cat's just, it's just, well, I'm not allergic to sprays, isn't it? Cat's cleaning the table next door to me. She's got the, the very, uh, there she is. Happy cleaning away then. Right, okay, 127.84, this is 63.92. Right, uh, Almost half of those are gone. Brand new today. Fewer than 20 now. Remember you're getting a metre for free in that bundle. The colours together. Let me just hold it up like that for you. Look at all those glorious colours together. Imagine that in your stash cupboard. Okay, now before I do each of those by the half metre... The extra wide backing is already going on the website. So I need to show it now. We love this. We love this. Right, so what you're seeing here is half a metre, right? So if you pay $13.99, this is what you get, right? Oh, now, the trouble is doing it like this, though. We can't pan. So you let go, and I'll show you this, right? It's just glorious. The quality of the fabric, use it for a backing, use it for a, I mean, I'd use that as a quilt. I'd just put two, that as the front of my quilt and just quilt it. How beautiful is that? 13.99 half meter, it's 274 centimeters wide. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look, this is what, what? Oh, good. Aren't they lovely? Isn't it gorgeous? 108 inches wide. Oh, I love it. Brand spanking new today. I kind of want to. I don't know if I can do this. Now, I'm not going to stand on anything, don't worry. not looking as neat as I wanted. Oh. Oh. I thought I was doing so well. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I'll get cats to do it in a minute. Right. Uh, let's start with the fabrics then, shall we? So let's start with the urns, the Greek urns. Oh, this is lovely. And it changes colour as well. well. It's not magic, it doesn't change colour. It's got a, a stripe of blue and then a stripe of the orange. Right, while we're looking at that fabric. Gorgeous, isn't it? Look. I have to, oh, hang on. We've got naked people on here for a Saturday morning. Anyway. 7 99 for half a metre. How often have I been saying that designer fabric is going to be going up? This should be more than 7 99 for half a metre, shouldn't it? Beautiful. It's what, sorry? Yeah, free spirit fabric, beautiful, beautiful quality fabric. Thank you, Kat. Here's Anna using it. To make on the left hand side she's making a collage and on the right hand side there's a quilt she's used now we think uh that all they're all these fabrics but there might be some other collections in there but we're thinking it's all made of this one. Oh yeah the lacy one's definitely in there the lacy one that hannah loves anyway this is your urn um anna maria horner fluent collection earn it oh abyss the color's called abyss
Now there she is creating something gorgeous. Uh, so you've got the urns being uh, there and you've got that lacy fabric. I'll do the lacy fabric next, actually. Then she's cut out some of the swirly fabrics, just creating a lovely 3D collage, fabric collage effect. Okay, Lynn, what's a Greek urn? 10 bob a week, says Lynn from Herefordshire. Do you know what? They're, the old ones are the best, Lynn, aren't they? And I don't mean you, I mean the jokes. Uh, Jill says, morning, is that a new shirt? No, it's old shirt, old shirt. Oh, Sharon says, I've got to switch off. I promised I wouldn't buy anything, but oh my, can my willpower hold out? Oh, Sharon, treat yourself. Sharon, treat yourself, girl. Beautiful. So that's that one. That's that one. So I go to the lacy one I said I was going to do. <laughs> Who's that from? I can't read that out. And who's it from? Leanne. And she can't speak, Leanne. Leanne, Hannah thinks you've sent the wrong picture through. She's asked for pictures of um, your first job. And Leanne sent a picture of a dog and a man in pants. Anyway, which one are we going to first? Vestment in blue. Look, isn't that lovely? Good morning, everyone. Loving the quilt behind you, says Donna. The quilt behind me is coming up in this hour. I've, got, I've obscured it a little bit now by putting some fabric over it, but seven ninety nine for half for me, hundred percent cotton, forty four inches wide. Seven pounds and ninety nine pence half a meter. We've got this in two different colourways. So what colour is this one? Vestment. Vestment, the colour of... No, no, the fabric's called vestment. Winter, 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 sorry, winter. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful, gorgeous. And then I've also got it in the other colourway, which is in the pinks and the oranges. Oh, lovely. Oh, and there's a lovely zesty green in the middle of this one as well. Look, seven ninety nine. Vestment in summer, this one. Jill, Jill says, what she miss? You missed a fantastic early bird. There might be a couple left. And this is the launch of the Anna Maria Horner fabric. Lovely, moving on. So let's move on. Oh, this, the, the thing is, I don't know if I can tell you which is my favourite. I don't know if I've got a favourite. This is beautiful. This one is called... Oh, I've got no name on this one. Hang on, let's have a look. It does. Oh, OK, this is Incarnation Small, and we've got this pattern bigger in a minute. So this one's in at morning, like good morning. Not mourning as in sad. Beautiful, 7 99 for half a metre. This is where you're buying off the bolt, remember? Which room in your house is it going to go in, Hannah? Just as you come into the house. Oh, do you know what would be lovely? If you made a big thick quilted blanket and hung it over your front door for winter and then in the winter night you could just pull it across like that and yeah like a, a quilted curtain would be lovely wouldn't it yeah and really really lovely in all these colors wouldn't it so that's that one so now have i got in have i got that one in another colorway or have i only got it in big okay so i've got this one next then I've got um, 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's your Fluent Collection, Incarnation, Midnight. Oh, I see, I found the other colourway. Did somebody just take a flash? Did you just take a picture? Oh, something flashed in here, like a... 
Anyway, look, isn't this beautiful? Seven ninety nine. I'll put my hand in. Oh, actually, let me show you the small pattern against the big pattern, right? So you can just see the difference in size of pattern. Big. They're both beautiful, aren't they? Big one's nice. Gorgeous, seven ninety nine for half meter. So this one's midnight. Not a sound from the pavement. Has the moon lost her memory? Thank you, Hannah. Lovely. Now, I've also got that. Now, I don't know what colour she'll have called this one. It's uh, 16. It finishes 16, yeah? Oh, afternoon. I thought you said... No, I thought you said after me. And I was going, well, it's not called Hannah. I know it's not called Hannah. Afternoon, this one's called. Afternoon. So that one's called morning. No, hang on. Yeah, oh, I'm very confused. The little one was called morning. Then we had midnight. Now this one's afternoon. Incarnation. Now I wonder where she got that from. I wonder where she was when she was drawing these pictures. Oh yeah, definitely time today for the colours. But incarnation, you kind of wonder if she was in a graveyard or... Well, no, she's Greek in this life, not in a past life. <laughs> uh, Carol's never heard of a quilted curtain before. Carol, have you not? Oh, they're lovely. If you need a really, really thick curtain for a door or something like that, be beautiful. Curtain. Right, okay, now I'm going to move on to this beautiful... Now, I think I've got this in four different colourways. This one ends 76, yeah. This one's called Raymond. Not Raymond. Everyone loves Raymond. Is that a television programme? But uh, look how gorgeous that is. <gasps> so this is Raymond in September. Oh, so we've gone off the morning and the afternoons now. We've gone to months now. Does it? Raiment means ladies' clothing. I never knew that. Or clothing. I wonder what flowers they are, though, because they're beautiful. Clothing or garments, raiments. Is that another of your French words? Or Greek. Maybe it's Greek words for clothes. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? And September is the colour. Well, I'm interested to see what colour the next one is, then. I've got it in bright pink. Yeah, pink and orange. Oh, this one, be careful, be careful. This one's flying out. Look at this. So a third of the stock's gone already. This is, oh, gone back to afternoon. Oh, July afternoon, this one. July afternoon. Beautiful. That is stunning, isn't it? That colourway. That one and that one. Beautiful colourways. Now I've got it in like a cream background. Yeah. Raymond, I bet this is morning. I'm going to say June morning. Oh, May. May. Isn't that gorgeous? That's the only other colourway I've got it in. Yeah, oh yeah, she does dress maybe with a fabric and a lot of famous people use her fabrics to make dresses with as well. Morning, John. Got to leave you 10 minutes to watch Paddington Bear. We'll be back soon. Beautiful fabrics day. Why can't you video... Oh, excuse me, I've got hiccups now. Video Paddington Bear. Well, there might be children there, I suppose so, yeah. That's gorgeous. Can you imagine that in a dress? Let me just hold that up. Ha oh, yes. Beautiful. The background colour is, I mean, it's called May, but it's kind of like, it's like a very rich clotted cream, the background. Lovely. Now, I'm... Good morning, John. Incarnation reminds me of the Day of the Dead celebrations in Mexico. Oh, yes, with all the flowers. These fabrics are lush, says Carolyn. Aren't they, Carolyn? Do you know what? The Bond film, didn't the, what, the next one that I didn't do, didn't that start? in a Day of the Dead um, festival. 
I can't remember now. Anyway, look, I've got this one now in lilac. Tilt, this one is. Tilt in lavender. Apparently, Helen's read somewhere that they didn't used to have that parade in Mexico until they did the James Bond film there. In Mexico City, Mexico City. I don't know which one it was. One of the ones I didn't do. It was after I'd finished them. Anyway, beautiful. Now, look, that's a diagonal print. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? That means that there, if you cut there, you've got your own bias. Imagine that as a bias binding. Be lovely, wouldn't it? Anyway, so that's one in lavender. Then I've got it in like a navy blue background with glorious colours. So this one's tilting navy. Oh, so that's not a month or a time of day, that one. Just tilt. Beautiful, isn't it? Just love that shaping and everything. It's very simple. It's a very simple little design, isn't it? But just gorgeous. It does look like a block print, a wood block print, yeah? But wait till you see it this week on the cream background. Now, it's it's kind of an even richer cream than that other one. So this is a tilt, obviously, in froth. Dave Froth. That's his name, isn't it? Dave Froth from next door. Didn't know he knew that. I didn't know he knew Anna Maria. It's froth, that one. Seven ninety-nine. Oh, what's the matter? Yeah. Oh, right, there's less than 10 metres, this one left. Less than 10 metres, this one. Very popular. Gorgeous. Now, let's go on to this beauty. I think this is one of your faves. Yeah. I can't find how to open it. There you go. Oh. Right, look at that. This is called Passport in Fuchsia. I'm not... No, I don't think... Hang on, have I got those four leaves in it? Hang on, you get three. Oh, yes, 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 it is. It is the same. It's, look, it's the same because you've got that fan of five different feathers there, and you've got the fat or, or leaves there, and you've got the fat. Obviously, it's a smaller scale, this one. So it is the same print, but smaller, and a different colour, obviously, than the, the backing. That's lovely, isn't it? Of course, that's, that one's absolutely flying out, that one. I've got in, it in, a, I have got it in another colour way. Hmm? <laughs> a lot of negatives in this sentence. I don't know how you can't want not want this fabric. Yeah. Beautiful. That one's very, very popular, that one. Let's look at it in the other colourway now. Amber, this one's called. Amber. Passport in amber. Did you get your um? Did you get your essay in by? The, oh, it's the seventeenth of January. It's got to be in. Seven ninety nine. Beautiful, isn't it? The attention to detail is stunning. She's obviously got a very creative mind doesn't she mm -mm -mm. now let's do these beautiful little flowers now this comes in two colorways 
Oh, that is stunning. Imagine a spring frock made out of that. Oh, less than 10 meters of this one already. Only available here and in the Mega Bundle. That's it. It's not in any other projects coming up in the week or anything. That's it. That's it. Oh, it's stunning, isn't it? The colour, just beautiful. I love the, like, the little scalloped edges and the, what's it called, this one? Collection Disco Cotton Candy. So hang on, is the fabric called Disco? Yep. The fabric's called Disco and the colour is Cotton Candy. I just love where it overlaps and they've, she's created another colour. It's beautiful, isn't it? So that's it in the Cotton Candy. Then we also have it in, <coughs> excuse me, the blues and the greens, which again is rather beautiful. Uh, C, they've called that C, Disco in the C. Crazy Lorraine's up, everyone. She says the colours are stunning, aren't they, Crazy Lorraine? Beautiful. I don't know what Hannah's singing in there. I was singing Good Morning to Crazy Lorraine. Beautiful. Then, oh, I've only got one, one pattern left in two different colours. So then we've got the crisscross like a patchwork, isn't it? Seven ninety nine. This is a uh, rose tile in butterscotch. Ooh, butterscotch. Wall and what's that whip stuff called? Angel delight. Oh. Seven ninety nine. Princess. We said first make, not first job. Lovely pictures, but what, what, what's it to do with? Seven ninety nine. This is butterscotch in rose tile. Right then, look at this one. This one sums up Anna Maria to me in both pattern and in colourway. Of course, loads of this one's gone. This is a uh, rose tile plum. Shelley says, good morning, John and crew. Hope you're all well. We're good. Thank you, Shelley. My voice isn't... I, you know why I think my voice has gone funny? Because I'm sleeping in the spare room at the moment. Well, the cats... I, I, oh, you won't hear you say... Wait. So the other night, or oh, no, quite a few nights ago, I, I went to go to bed and the cats were just sprawled. And now Luther's the width of a double bed. So Luther was sp sprawled across bed and then Ghost was up near the cushions. And I was like, oh, I can't bear to disturb them. So I went and slept in the, I went and slept in the spare room and I'm still in the spare room, right? And it's a lovely bed. No, it's a, it's a bed I first bought when I bought my first house from John Lewis. It's like a brass, you know, head. It's just such a, but it's not on a slant. And with my gastric reflux, I'm supposed to sleep, sleep on a slant, aren't I? So the cat, I'll have to move the cats over now. My mum made us matching caftans in the 1960s with fabric very similar to the disco pink. Alison Marion. What were the 1960s? I've only read about it in history books. I've accidentally melted a hole in the bottom of plastic mixing bowl. Best just to sit down and tune in. Loving your shirt from Jen. Jen, how on earth did you do that? Did you think you were melting chocolate and you put a bowl over a Bam Maria, whatever it's called? Maybe you melted it that way. Right, but mega bundle, mega bundle, mega bundle. <clears throat> you get 16 fabrics. Is that right or 18? Hang on, I'll get it right in a minute. 18 fabrics. And you don't just get half a metre free, you get a whole metre for free. Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful. Lots in baskets. I've only got, I've got less than 20 to offer you. Do you know what? I'm not going to, be able to fit all these on the desk, am I? Look at them all. Beautiful. Look at these. I'll just move that one over there. Oh, now, which is your favourite? We all know which Hannah's favourite is. 
Bruce, have you got a favourite? These, the tilt, or those two? Are all the same as Hannah? Which one's your favourite, Kat? The urn. Where one? The urn. Oh, you like the urn? I'll come to that at the end. Hang on, let's just try and fit this in. Shot, there you go. You get all of this in the Mega Bundle. £127.84, pence. you're getting a metre of fabric for free. Look at all of that. Just want two more and then I've got them all out. Look at, oh my word, look at those. And then I'll put the urns across here. Oh, hang on. Come on, job. One job. Look at all of those. Starning. £127.84, but it pays £63.92. Uh, beautiful. Just beautiful. Getting a metre for free there. 18 different fabrics, nine meters of fabric. I didn't say first job. I first, I said, didn't say first job. Hang on, oh John, stop tempting me. I was trying to use only fabric for my stash this year. I want it from Lizzie. I didn't say first job, I said first quilting thing, or I said, Beth, I said your first um, project. I didn't say job, did I? Nobody, oh, I didn't say job, no. Yeah. No, two people have said it now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at these, look at these, look at these. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Oh, x ray backing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, uh, x ray backing. Right, when you there's so many people got this in their baskets. If you're checked out, it's gone. But if you want to come in and get some, it's not yours till you check out. It's lovely, isn't it? Thirteen ninety nine for half a meter. This is what you get for your thirteen ninety nine. Obviously, if you buy two or three, they all come joined together. You buy it off the bolt like you do the normal fabric. It's just beautiful, isn't it? So it's called Passport, but it's a big, multicoloured passport. Oh, quilted travel bag is what Hannah would like. And now they called it cream, right? You've, uh, where's the cream? Well, yeah, it's cream in the background, so there's a very little background there. Thirteen ninety nine. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right, there's way too many people got that in the baskets, but until you check out, it's not yours till you check out. Okay, I'll just give that to Kat. She's looking after that one. Right. Early bird. Now, if you don't, if you're thinking, oh, John, it's new year, new me, new um, project, new hobby, right? Here we go. It's the collection, taste of the collection. Um, I was going to say it wasn't 16 that time, it was early bird, wasn't it? 14.99, 14.99. Oh, look, I opened all this up and Kat's put it away so beautifully. Oh, Jill's going to watch on catch up to prove I'm right. All right, Jill, you do that. 14.99. Beautiful, isn't it? The gore, you've just seen all the fabrics. Beautiful. At fourteen ninety nine. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Now all the bundles, I haven't had time to go through all the bundles, all the bundles are on pre order on uh, the website not from this collection from other collections but we've got bundles for under 20 pounds oh actually we'll show them later we'll show them you can go and look at them now but we'll, we'll actually we'll, they're so lovely we'll show them later on in um 
uh, the Kfau, in the Kfau. Because they're all free spirit, they're all friends. Okay, about to sell out. Tilly, morning John Scott, she says. Good morning, Tilly. <coughs> How are the ducks? <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Keep going through for this. Keep going through. $14.99. You got the other early bird there, Kat. $14.99. The other early bird we had today, which was phenomenal. Right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'll get it the right way up for you. There you go. Threads, these are. Threads. You get so many in the box. Right, look, you get 12 weight, 50 weight, 80 weight, and more 50 weight. It's meant to be 149.99. Look what Hannah did. Oh, you can see 99.99. These flew out at 8 o'clock. I only got single figures left now. Single figures left. So that's 12 weight. That's your very thick thread. Your 50 weight, which is your regular on big smooth pools and small pools. And then your 80 weight, which is for your, um, uh, for your hand stitching, for your uh, uh, EPP, for your uh, reverse applique. Morning, seriously overslept this morning, says June. June doesn't matter, it's Saturday morning. Unless you had somewhere important to be. Right, very quickly, you see the quilt behind me? I've got it in two colourways. Then I'll, then I'll go, I promise, then I'll go. Right. Colourway I've got hanging up is this one. Passy floor. Oh, no, hang on, that's a different colour in that picture. Hang on. So the one I've got hanging up here is this one. I've got that one coming up in a minute, Bruce. That's it, brilliant. There you go. That's the colour where I've got. $249.99. Oh, oh, question. Hundred. Oh. Um. Well, have you just taken £100 off? $149.99, that's way too low. Way, 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 way too low. Okay, she was supposed to take £50 off. She's taken £100 off. Take it while you can. Take it while you can. That is beautiful. So that's the quilt that's behind me. And she's just taken £100 off it. £100 off it. Did you say cash or cash? Casually, I thought you said cash. I was going to say, send your cash to Hannah. Doesn't work like that. Oh, yes, Sharon. Oh, my. Oh, my. Exactly. Hundred pounds off. Anna Mion, it's beautiful, isn't it? Ob <laughs> Obviously, single figures. Okay, so that's that colourway. I've also got it in this colourway. Straight down, straight down, straight down at that price. £149.99. Uh, Lucy Pickersley says, Morning, making a dress for Friday's show, but I've caught the skirt to the overlocker. Now I've got an ugly mess to fix. Oh, no. £149.99 should be £249.99. £100 off. Fly with me, fly me to the moon. Let me see the moon, the sun. Oh, the beautiful in Jupiter and Mars. But uh, Alma Cogan sang that, I think, didn't she? Anyway, one hundred forty-nine ninety-nine. Uh, single figures now. Single figures. Uh, Tilly says it's beautiful. Only wish I could do it. Oh, anyone can do it. But you're too busy looking after your ducks, aren't you? And your chickens. And her menagerie of animals. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Say that again. Oh, right. This colourway. Not that colourway. This colourway. There's only four left. Four left. Four left. 
Gorgeous. Right. We're going for a break now. When we come back, Emma Bradford is going to be doing the checkerboard of checkerboard quilts by Kaif. However, however, if you buy it today, you get the free quilts. It's the Wales book, isn't it? Quilts in Wales book. Yeah, quilts in Wales. So you get the book for free. That's straight after this four minute break. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're
you're a sewing street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Emma Bradford's here. Say hello, Emma oh, Bradford. Sorry, you caught me. You catch me. <laughs> <laughs> We're all at twos and I... eights or whatever this morning, aren't yeah. we? We're all a bit kind of like, oh. Anyway, before we go to Emma, um, I want to show you this because we've got new year, new hobby. You've seen the advert going out. I was going to say I wasn't asked to do it, but I wasn't here, was I? Anyway, we've got this. If you're a beginner or you know a beginner, or if you go to classes, or if you go to the caravan, if you go to the lodge, whatever, we've got a little country house, whatever. Basically, you don't want to take all your best ones with you. So, well, not your best ones, your big ones with you. This is a kit, right? You get all of this for 19.99. So you get a 45 millimeter rotary cutter, you get your little ruler and you get your cutting mat, which has got inches and centimeters on it. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic, whether it's for a beginner or it's for you and you just don't want to take your big ones away with you at the weekend. Look, so look, how much is this normally? Something like that, 12.95 you'd pay for a rotary. Well, no, if you think of a, 20, a 45 millimeter rotary cutter, 12.95, I'm just thinking generic prices, not this actual one, right? How much would this ruler, uh, what, what size is it? Here you go, six by 12 ruler, right? And then you've got your lovely little cutting mat here, with just got inches on one side and centimeters on the other. You get all three of those for 19.99. Whether you're buying it for you or you're buying it for a friend or somebody you know who's about to start on, the, um, on their sewing journey, their quilting journey, their patchwork journey, Right, here we go. Doing the, we asked for photos of your first project earlier today. Here we go. So uh, this is my first quilt. Learned different techniques on my own by doing this sampler quilt, but didn't finish it till many years later when I went to classes to learn how to quilt it from Brenda in Berkshire. Brenda, it's gorgeous. It's lovely. Good morning to you too. That's a fabulous one. Gosh, that was your first one. Blimey, that was good. Another one here. Uh, morning all, this is my first quilt. Miles the cat liked it. My daughter, whose Christmas present was, it was loved it too, from Sue in Norfolk. Oh, Sue, that looks lovely. Right, and then what? Good morning, John. Oh, hang on, good morning. John has asked for a picture of your first quilt. My wonderful teacher, Jan, helped me every step of the way. Now I'm hooked. Never a needle of some sort, never a needle of some sort in my hand. Uh, kind regards, Lynn in Herefordshire. The, oh, look, it's beautiful. That. Look at the little bows on the back. What's she got on the wall? What's in that, what's in that gold frame? There's a butterfly in the frame. Oh, maybe she likes butterflies. Oh, actually, hang on, that's very, that's very alike. Mm -hmm. The one we're doing at 11 o'clock, isn't it, that quilt? Beautiful. Oh, and there's that native light, well spotted Bruce, a native lighting luminar lamp in the front there as well. Right, okay, so here's the, here's the starter kit. It's the uh, rotary cutter, the ruler, and the uh, cutting mat there. For, for 19.99, the graphics will come back in. There you go, 19 pounds and 99 pence. Of course there's loads of those granite baskets. 
Now remember, if you've already bought something, you came in and bought the early bird or anything, if you've even come in and bought something off the website, you only paid one PMP for the whole day, remember? So if you've come in and bought a quick unpick and paid 3 95 post and packaging, it's just, if you come in and buy a sewing machine, sell only one PMP for the whole day, midnight to midnight. I know, brilliant, isn't it? So just add it to your order. Oh, okay, let's have a look at this then. New to Sewing Street last year, fell in love with Kaif, oh, I to, oh, does Brandon know, and decided to go big with a quilt. This is my modified Kaif dual frame design. Not perfect, but I love it. Jan, the thing is, everyone says, oh, it's not perfect, it's not perfect. It doesn't matter, does no, it? No. Just be proud. I think that's incredible to, to start off with. That is just Gorgeous. brilliant. Jan, that's beautiful. Oh, my word. Tis achievable. Right, she got a candle by the bed. Is that a candle to the right of the bed? Oh, it's a lamp. I can't see. I can only see on the little screen, you see. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Right. Okay, so that's that. Let me put that to one side. Yep. Yeah. Right. This is what this hour is all about. Checkerboard of checkerboards. This is a huge, huge, huge quilt. But perfect if you're going to start. Because all it is is nine patches right nine patch blocks we're going to go through all of that with you but you are going to get this book completely for free worth 24.99 it's cut off of the graphics look 24.99 so you get the book for free now let me just explain that you see this is the quilt this is this quilt you see that there that's the quilt what they did was they went to wales and they i think they um snuck into this welsh castle and oh that's very like the one that we just saw on the bed look anyway well, they snuck into this castle and then hung their quilts took pictures and ran but look beautiful aren't they? you know you are right it's boiling in here are you hot no i'm just oh, right, okay you're all right we'll yeah. be all right for, for now minute. for now give me five minutes let me know yeah <laughs> but look 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 so you get the book for free now Oh, we'll talk about it more in a minute. We'll talk about the book more in a minute. So you get the book free and you get the whole quilt kit. Now, the instructions are in here. So you might want to give the book to someone as a gift and keep that for yourself or give that to somebody as a gift and keep that for yourself or keep them both for yourself. It's up to you. This is like a lovely coffee table. Oh, so not only do you get the book for free, you get 20 pounds off the quilt as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the quilt on its own should be 199 pounds. You're paying 179 but 99 for the quilt and for the book. Now, it's like a coffee table book at the front with all of these beautiful pictures. But then at the back, you've got, got all of these incredible designs and instructions for loads and loads and loads of, qu of quilts that Cave's done. 20. That's 20. 20. 20 of them. So imagine how much you'd pay for 20 patterns. And it's got all the different fabrics you need, how much you need of them, how to make it and everything like that. It's not just a, like, so how brilliant is that? You get all of that for 179.99. What are you getting in the box? I hear you asking. Well, I'll show you. If I could open it. There we go. That's a nice heavy box. Hang on, what's in here? Uh, 22 different fabrics, over 11 and a half meters of fabric in there. Uh, finished quilt size, oh it's huge, 218 by 218. That would go over my bed and drape down the sides as well. So here we go. Now it says it's, now it says it's intermediate, but we'll talk about that mm -hmm. in a minute. Because we think it's more for a beginner. It's huge, it is big, but we think the actual sewing techniques are for a beginner really. Right, let's have a look in here. And then these, now what you're getting in here, now you're gonna find some fabrics in here that you might not recognize. So you see all of these, the regal fans and the beautiful flowers and everything like that. So you get all of these geodes and everything like that. You've got your shells there. You've got grandma's garden there. You've got the beautiful leaves. You've got gorgeously regimental ties. You've got oranges in purple. You've got, um, it's not called, damask. You've got damask there. Then you've got your fans again. And then, oh hang on, there's more. Then you've got jumbles there. These are all your K fabrics that you know and love. I love that one. I think that one's beautiful, that one. Then you've got this one here for your borders. Right, so they're all the K fabrics you know, love and recognize. But then you've also got these beautiful woven ones in there as well. 
So when you're not, we don't normally sell these. We don't have these for sale normally, do we? I've never, I've never done a show with these. Anna Maria, we just had an Anna Maria hour. She used a lot of woven fabrics like this in her designs as well. But look, so on top of all the, oh, hang on, we've got a cave fabric in there. On top of all the cave fabrics, you also get all of these lovely woven fabrics as well. They're all part of the same quilt. So for 179.99, all split pay 59.99, you get all this fabric, you get the instructions, you get the instructions, and you get a free book and a masterclass from Emma. Mm -hmm. That should have been the top of the pile, really, shouldn't it? <laughs> so all of that, all of that, all of that for 179.99. We're now going to take, now this is where, if you've got any piecing, it doesn't have to be about this quilt, but if you've got any questions, if you're just starting off and you think, oh, I really don't know how to do this. Oh, here you go. Morning, John, I love this quilt. It was the first, here you go. It was the first full quilt I made and it's Ooh. definitely beginner friendly from Kerry and Cumbria. There you go. So if you've got any questions at all, doesn't have to be about this quilt, right? Doesn't have to be about this quilt. You can send the questions in by Facebook, by uh, on the we um, website or on uh, the email. Or the only way you can get pictures in of your first project is by sending them by email, studio at sewingstreet.com. But please, please, please do get involved. Do send your pictures in and do send your questions in or comments or anything like that that you want to. But I mean, so we're gonna start, we're gonna start, well, Happy New Year, by Happy the way. Happy New Year, yes. And uh, did you have a lovely Christmas? Yes, it was good. It was very good. I haven't seen you for ages, have I? Because you, like, you were in, oh, you were only in last week, weren't you? I was, last Saturday. Yeah. Yep. Last uh, year. Oh, was that last year, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you did you have a lovely New Year? Yeah, yeah, it was good. See family? Yes, good. yes, yes. Went down to see um, daughter and granddaughter this week. Oh. We actually went ice skating. You went what? Ice skating. You did? Yeah, yeah, I could skate. Oh, let's do it. To, to, you'd be the Torville to my Dean. <laughs> uh, I used to ice skate. I haven't done it for. We used to go to uh, Altrincham when I was younger. We used to oh, go to okay. ice skate ring there. Oh, yeah. And is, your, is the granddaughter old enough to ice skate then? She. It was her third time going. Oh wow. She's still using the little penguin. Yeah. But she loved, she didn't want to come off the ice. Oh no! It's like it's like when you first learn to swim, isn't it? Yeah. You don't want to get out of the swimming pool out no. the sea because you just always want to be in there. It's the same when you yeah. first ice skate. When yeah. you feel that confidence and mm -hmm. everything. So she's going to be on Dancing on Ice in years to come. Do you oh, think? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Right. So let's talk about this quilt because mm -hmm. it's a beautiful but simple quilt to do, isn't it? It is very simple. So it's a lot of squares um, and it's the very traditional way of putting squares together. Which right, okay. Other than the, uh, well, next step up, I yes. would say, would be sewing strips together and then cutting the strips. So we're, we're literally no cutting squares yep. and sewing them together. Yes. Until we come to do the border. So it's all squares. Mm -hmm. So now the thing I said when I did this quilt the last time is don't try and do it in an afternoon because oh, no. it's big. There's lots to it. Mm -hmm. But what's lovely about it is each of the blocks are exactly the same. They are. Just using different fabrics. Mm -hmm. So like do one in an afternoon. If you just fancy yeah. doing yeah. like half an hour of sewing, just do one block in the afternoon, put it somewhere safe yeah. and then slowly build up to it. And don't look at it, because I think sometimes you look at a quilt like that and go, oh, there's an awful lot of squares in there. Yes. And then it might put you off a little bit, mm -hmm. mightn't it? If, you, if you're thinking, oh, it's too much, it's gonna get, it's like you have to do anything, isn't it? If there's yeah. too much of it, you get halfway through it. It's like Delphine when she was doing some stippling yesterday. Oh, yes. She was like, oh, it took all day, it took all day. But I do a little bit one yep. day, Come back and do a little bit another little day bites. and things like that. And that way it becomes far more enjoyable. How you eat it? an elephant, right? Hmm? How you eat an elephant? How you eat an elephant? Yeah. Is that, what's bite, that? Just bite, bite, bite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know what, what cold remedy she's on, but you know. Anyway, right. Show us what to do then. All right. So the only sort of technique I would say that you really need to know is yeah. cutting strips with the fabric. So if you are a complete beginner, how to cut a strip with the fabric. So with your fabric, on each of your yardage, on each side, you'll have a selvage edge, which right. is the um, the woven bit with no pattern usually. Yeah. So if you fold your fabric in half, so your selvage edges are together. Yeah. And then hold them up. So very often when you have a bit of yardage, you, especially bigger than this, um, the cut edges won't always be where it lines up. Mm -hmm. And that's just because of the way it's folded on the bolt. So if you fold it in half and hold it up, and you just sort of adjust your selvage edges against each other until your fabric is laying completely flat and straight, no wrinkles or rucks. Are most of the fabrics we've got in this kit about that size? 
They are. All the cave, almost all the cave ones are about, is about a quarter of a meter. Right. A quarter of a meter. So they're yeah. all going to be the same. Um, the border one is bigger. Oh, obviously, yeah. And I think the binding is bigger. Yeah. And okay. You've got a meter and two meters. Oh, yeah, those, yeah. But, but yeah. what I'm saying is that when you're subcutting, because sometimes you can come on here and you've got a piece that's oh, yes. two <laughs> meters long and we have to waft it and get yeah. it straight. If you're doing it for the first time, mm -hmm. this is a really easy way of learning mm -hmm. how to do this technique, isn't it? Because you is. haven't got bolts and bolts of it to worry about. No. There's a quick question here from oh, yeah. Debs. Hello, Debs. Bada da, both. It would Hi. be great to explain how to interpret the cutting instructions. Oh. Do you wrap? Do you cut the wrap? No, the warp. The warp first or the weft. Oh, that's interesting. So it's, I think it's personal choice, isn't it? It probably is. So for most of the cutting out, I always do this this way. Right, okay, that's fine. Well, we're going we're gonna to show you, take you through yeah. it. So this is yeah. from start. So you've literally taken that out of the box. Mm -hmm. Did you iron it first? I did iron it. You've ironed it. So yeah. then you've just done that level leveling off, right? Mm -hmm. Brilliant, okay. Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so most of the, the, especially when you're cutting up into smaller shapes, I would cut width of fabric yeah. rather than length of fabric. Oh yes, yeah. Uh, and these are all going to be six inch squares. So I'm actually not using the, um, oh I should, I should. What, 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 what? The lines on my, on my cutting mat. Right. So I don't usually, when I'm measuring, I don't usually no, use exactly, the lines yeah, on the cutting yeah. mat. I usually always use the lines on my ruler to measure. Um, and if you keep to that, then your cutting will all be in the same measurement, if yeah. that makes sense. If you, sometimes you do have to switch between measuring the lines on your mat and your ruler, especially if you've got bigger pieces, if your ruler isn't big enough. Yeah. But if you can keep to just measuring with your ruler, don't worry about the lines on your mat for measuring. Right. Um, it'll all keep it in the same, because the lines on your ruler can be ever so slightly different from the lines on the mat accuracy wise yes so it's just if you keep it to one you'll be yes, better yeah, off you're keeping it keeping it um what's the word, uniform you're that's keeping it, it uniform, that's yeah. it it's like Consistent. using a sewing machine isn't it always don't Use swap onto a different sewing, sewing machine, machine because you might sew a quarter of an inch on mine seam allowance on mine quarter of an inch on emma's and they'll be slightly different even yes. though they both say they're quarter of an inch but that doesn't matter if you do them all on the same sewing machine, no. whether it's your size quarter inch or my size quarter, quarter inch. inch, but if you mix them, your blocks are, end, are going to end up different it's sizes. A bit right. um, when I do use the lines on the mat, which I'll show you now, is when I've lined it all up and I've folded it in quarters, and yeah. I've got it all nice and square, what I'll do is I'll line up one of the folds, either top or bottom, with one of the lines on my mat, and the, all the raw edges I have just over uh, one of the vertical lines yeah and that is so I can get a nice square first cut I've got all those skewy edges off and that is really the only time that I use the lines on my mat right is to do that and then also a little tip for when we're doing this because when you fold it the fabric's not all going to be in the same place is it no so I always open up my um, cut bit just to make sure that all of my raw edges have been cut off because sometimes because they don't always line up you can have a raw edge sneakily hiding underneath your folds and then you don't find it until you've actually cut into it and yeah so basically you when you've cut off when you've straightened off that first edge mm -hmm. always open up your little bit of, of um, fabric Cutting. you've got left this there's a break yep. in it you know that you haven't gone through all the seam lines, so you'll need to do it again it's it's literally a hair's breadth yep. isn't it but yep. so we know that you've gone through yep. all of that because that's in a straight piece but if one of the folds had been further back it would suddenly disappear wouldn't it and you'd have a hole yes, in the middle of it yeah. you would yeah and incidentally those little cut edges make a really good cat toy do they? Yeah. Mine, you see, mine wouldn't be interested in this. Oh, okay. They just no. wouldn't. They're, no. they're like, no. Buff, no. No. Um, oh, looks like the photos in the book of Powys Castle. I think they are. I'll check for you, though, in a oh. minute, Jenny. Um, put the phone down and back off. Oh, oh, I see. That's she's talking to herself. Put the phone down and back off. No, go on. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Amanda says, good morning. When I cut the fabric when folded, I always seem to get a wobbly line. Oh, yeah. And that's where it's, it goes skewy. And that is, I'll show you again on my next bit. It's a little bit bigger. That is where it's important to do that first holding up and making sure that everything lay, lays straight and there's no skewy bits. Yeah. Because if you don't line it up correctly and you cut it, when you open up your strip, it will go a bit slanty. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. You don't want that. No. Uh, I need stock warning, stock warning, stock warning. Uh, we're down to single figures of this bundle today. 
single oh. figures already and was lots in baskets as well so i've cut my first strip and what i did to do that because we missed it is i've lined up my so i've got my six inches i've lined up my six inch line with the cut side that i just did uh, and measured it make sure i use the lines on my ruler so i'll use one of the vertical lines it doesn't matter which one yeah uh, but one of them um horizontal lines even um, to line up with the fold on my fabric so I know it's going to be square as well. So you can just use your tools to really keep, make sure, just double checking that everything is square and, and aligned yeah. as you go along. So you're using the 24 and a half by six and a half inch ruler yes. there. Yeah. Which I think is a really good, if, you, if you're only gonna buy one ruler, that one will see you through that, quite yeah, a lot. There you go, 28.99, there it is. And then to cut my squares, I only open it up once, so it's gonna be folded in half. So you can cut two squares, easily cut two squares or two layers of fabric together yeah. at the same time. It makes it go quicker. Uh, if you really want, the next step would be if you had more than one strip to cut and they're the same width, um, you can stack them on top of each other, make sure that they're... Just but if you're just starting... I would just stick with this. Yeah, yeah. If you're just starting, I would just stick yeah. with this. Because the Greater Good rulers, I know you must be thinking, oh, 28 99 for a ruler, but actually they've got so much going for them. They've got yes. half inch, they've got quarter inch seam lengths on them. They've got increments in black and white. They've got the uh, patented non-slip grip. So they're really, really worth paying that little bit more for. And then you've got an investment, I think. Yes, yeah. and actually I never started using creative grids until I started at the... At the same uh, quarter? At the same quarter. Yeah, you, say, you say it, it's fine. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm completely sold on them. Yeah. I won't go for with any other ruler now. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love them so much, especially the non-slip and the, the colouring on the lines. It's very easy to see and easy yeah. to read. And yeah. you just get so used to them. They, they're kind of, that, that non-slippy thing is brilliant, isn't it? It is. Uh, hi, why when I fold and cut fabric, do I get a kind of bend on the fold line? Yeah, well, I'll show you okay, on the next bit. Okay, next Carol, bit, we'll do that next. We'll just yeah. keep watching. So I'm going <coughs> to put my squares and I'm going to line up my fabric, my strip, exactly like I did before. So I've got my selvage edges just over one vertical line. So I'll, right. that'll be my first cut to get rid of those. I've got my cut line, my cut edge lining up uh, horizontally yeah. against one of the lines. So it's all squared and nice. So I'll just get rid of that. So you're literally getting rid of the selvage edges now, aren't you? Yes. And I always cut this way rather than cutting from the folded edge is because invariably you won't cut all the way to the folded edge. Right. But when you get to that point, you will have a nice Oh yes, yeah. so if you do fold. it this way, you'd end up with two, you may end two up with two bits. skinny bits. Whereas if you do it that way, you'll end up with a fat one fatter bit. Yeah, yeah. which will be more useful to put in your, in your scrap stash yeah. later yeah. on. And I'm just doing the same thing I did before, lining up. So I'm lining up my six inch along the cut edge. Yeah. I'm using a horizontal line at the top and the bottom mm -hmm. to make sure that it's all nice and square and lined up. And then you just cut through. And then one more. Okay, it's a question for later on, but Susan okay. says, morning everyone, Emma, how do you put larger size quilts together? Oh, oh you, think, can mind, you can answer oh, it. Okay. Oh, actually, well, actually, let's, let's talk about this one behind you, which is your 11 o'clock one. Yes. I know it's not this one, but yep. obviously when you're putting, these are bigger blocks and a bigger, the, the quilt's not bigger, but they're bigger blocks. Yes. How do you physically put that together? Okay. So we actually, yeah, yeah. if you watch in that show, we'll discuss that one in that show, if that's all right, Sue. Yeah. And you, if, if you can't stay in and watch it, it'll be on YouTube later. Yep. Yeah. But oh, we'll definitely course. answer that question in the next hour. Yes. So those are all I need for that one. Now I'll do this folding up again. This is where, if you don't, I'll actually, let me do it wrong, see if I can do it wrong first. All right. And then, then. we'll do it right. Okay. <laughs> so if I hold it up like that, so this is the wrong way. Yeah, you can auto, you can see automatically there's something going on at the bottom there, bottom can't there. it's not right, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to fold that over. Like that. Right. And this should, should come out a bit skewy. I'm not even gonna worry about measuring too much. All right. Let's see. 
Mm. <laughs> not as skewy as I was hoping it would be. <laughs> right. But what will happen if it's not, um, if it's too skewy, and we try it again. Yeah. Let me do it properly bend, bend it, Bend it so it's obviously wrong, so we can okay. see what you mean. Yeah. Right, so to the eye, it looks like that's completely flat though. Yeah. Doesn't it? So let's see. <laughs> see, when you, when you want it to go wrong, it doesn't always. Oh, okay. No, it has. has because it? look, 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 look. Okay. And I'm not talking about the wobbly bit here, but you've got kind of, if you don't fold it properly, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? It's kind of like the difference between that bit and that bit. It's not made that completely straight, but you've kind of, yeah. you've got a wobbly bit here. But yeah, I know what you mean. If, if you, if you, when you fold it over like this, sometimes I'm going to do it so it, it goes like this. The yes. fabric lies like this. Can you see that there? So it might not be as drastic as that. So when you fold it over, you then think, oh, I've got a lovely straight edge. You trim it off, but then actually the actual uh, piece you've cut off goes like that. Yeah. And that's what you don't want because the edge of your fabric is going to be like that as well. That. And also, if you don't fold it up correctly, like I said, your, your quarters will be not in line with each other. So they'll literally be the first quarter go this way, then the next yes, quarter yes, goes yes, that yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. So this is why when you're holding, when you're cutting your fabric, and it is easier with a bigger, bigger length, although yeah. these are quite easy, is literally hold your fabric up and just let it lie completely straight up and down. You don't want any sort of twists or rooks in it. And um, the way that I move it is I always hold my, you can see that. So hold my selvage edges with a finger in between. And then I literally, if I hold it up, I'm just, moving my my fingers to move that selvage edge one way or the other like uh -huh. so I'm looking at the bottom just to make sure that it's all nice and flat and straight and there's no rocks and turns and then lining it up like that you can also when you're lining it up even if you've got it straight if you try and line it up and this bit isn't quite straight, so mm -hmm. this selvage edge is a bit at a slant from your folded edge that can also cause you trouble. Yeah. So just make sure that your, your, as much as possible, your selvage edge is lined up with that bottom fold, nice and straight and flat. And uh, it just takes practice, really. Yeah, yeah, of course. And different fabrics will behave differently as well. You get some that are more prone to the, the skewing than mm -hmm. others. I think if you just accept, and also sometimes when they're cut off the bolt, depending on where within the bolt, so whether it's at the beginning or at the, towards the end of the bolt, will also dictate or affect how different that cut edge is yes. from each other. Mm -hmm. So you might have a piece of fabric that's been cut off the bolt and there is possibly maybe even half an inch difference with um, gap between mm -hmm. the cut edges after you've aligned everything. And that is, it's not that it's been cut wrong off the bolt, it's just the way that fabric has yes, been yes, folded yes. on also, the bolt. Also, if you, well, if you think about it, as it's gone round the bolt, one edge is bigger, bigger than the other yeah. anyway. So it's, one is going to be going round at a different speed to the other. So when you then cut it, or when you take it off, one will always be a little a bit, bit shorter skewed, than the other. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit like a racetrack where the inside is tighter than oh, the outside. Oh yeah, yep. on your motorbike. Yep. <laughs> Did you come on your motorbike this morning? Oh no. I was going to no. say, not in that wind and rain. No, it'll be a little while before I come again, but I have, um, I did go out on my one of my motorbikes yesterday. Oh, sorry, one. Know. I've got two. I thought you had like Ruby or whatever she's called. Yeah, I've got Ruby, but then I've also got my little monkey, my little my little bike. So monkey was one you learned on, and then yeah. you went, okay. Then I went to Ruby, but actually Mikey is learning to ride monkey now. Is he? Yeah. Well, his legs not too long. <laughs> no, he actually quite likes it because it's. He's, he can put his feet down quite solidly. Oh, okay. Grown yeah. men do actually, they've got a quite of a cult following now. What? The little, little monkeys. monkey bikes? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, that'd be nice when you can both go out together because yeah. at the moment you have to go off and just see your motorbiking friends on it, don't yeah. you? I can't see him own. sleeping underneath the tarp tarpaulin in Hampton Court though. Well, not, is yeah. it Magley Hall? Wait, where you come? Magley Hall, Magley yeah. Hall, yeah. 
So I'm just doing exactly the same thing I did before. Yeah. Like cut my cut the edge. Cut my edge off. Although I wouldn't normally do it this far because there isn't much. Doesn't oh yeah, once you're off the edge, you yeah. the board. To do that, be careful. Yeah. Oh, and if you are new to quilting and you've, it's the first time using a rotary cutter, be very careful because they are the blades are extremely sharp. Yeah. And you'll cut yourself. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but you won't feel it because they're that sharp. Oh, my gosh. And you won't realise. I mean, it might only just be a, a graze, but still, yeah, you'll be surprised how sharp the new ones are. The, um, I've got, I bought, just before I went away from my holidays, I bought a new set of knives. You know, those things, oh. the ones you can buy, they've got four boards and four knives in a stand. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I don't use a dishwasher. I always wash by hand. And the amount of times oh. I th plunge my hand into boiling hot water, thought, oh, that was a funny. And then the, suddenly the washing up water goes red, red. and everything. You cut yourself because it's so sharp. I haven't got a rotary cutter. Oh, okay, okay. That's not the, oh, there you go. Thanks, Cap. This is the one I've got. This is the rotary cutter that I've got at home. Hang on, Bruce just got to come in. There you go, 19.99. Uh, this one's got a handle here, so you don't have to worry about putting the blade away. Does your blade go away straight yes. away? Yes. Yeah. Well, it doesn't straight away. I have to press the button. Oh no! But when you so when yes. you've cut. Yeah. I have to press the button. Oh, you press the button. Whereas this one, you just let go of the lever and the, the blade goes away. Because that's back. another thing that beginners don't do is no. don't put the blade away each time. And if it's underneath a pile of fabric, you get to pick the fabric up like that and the blade sticking out. Whereas this one, every time you let go of that lever, the blade pops back into its safety position. So it's fine. So that's nineteen ninety nine. And also don't forget with the one in the kit that we had this morning, this one here has a little safety guard on it here. Uh, now, don't, yeah, this one, this one comes in the kit, remember, with the cutting board and the little ruler. So a creative grid ruler, the cutting ruler and the little ruler there. 1999. 1999. Righty-ho. Back to Emma. Oh. Right, what are you doing now, then? Now, I'm laying out my block, and this is something I recommend for everybody, whether right. you're a beginner or not, whenever you're making a block. Always take your pieces and recreate it. So it's each sleep. block only made of two fabrics? Yep. Oh, so you, you could literally just do a block at a time and cut it out. Oh, yes. Don't cut the whole, you don't need to cut the whole quilt out no, of the beginning. You can, you just, can just cut it out as you go along. Yeah. Which I really liked, actually, because even though it has a, what I call a serving suggestion of which fabrics to put with which, yeah. you can absolutely put together which fabric combinations you want. So basically, want. each block has one of the wovens and one of the K-facet yes. patterns. Yep. And it, it all, some, sometimes there's five stripes and four kf, yeah. and sometimes it's the other way yeah. around. Now, I've just noticed mm -hmm. on here, they've got all of the stripes going in the same direction, yes. which you have. But then on their one that they've done with regimental ties. Oh, which is this one. Yeah, they've done some that way and some. Does that make any oh. difference? Oh, no, hang on. Does that make any difference? Yeah. Look, look. Yeah. But does it make any difference? It's just one, just one. That one's the only, oh no. Do you know what I mean? So it's, oh, it's yeah, up yeah. to you how you do these, but just, yeah. it, w this is why you lay your block out, is it? To look yes, at it for yourself. Yes, how you like it. Yeah. Um, so when it orientates you to like where all the pieces go, which seams are going to be where, and also, do you like it? Um, and if you don't like these two together, maybe try, you could cut out some different ones and put them together and yeah. see, do I like that fabric with that one better? Brilliant. But, so this is how I do it. So. When I start sewing this, you're going to start sewing your pieces together. And I would sew each block into, so you've got three strips. So I sew these three together, these three, and these three. Right. And the way that I start, because I have a system. Let me have a, what do you need? Pins or on the pit, there's a pin cushion on top of the overlock, at the top of the sewing oh, machine. Yeah, yeah, see, see, see. Oh, I was going to say, I, the oh. pair one there as well, that's oh. fine. Yeah, that's what I used last week. So I like to, prepare everything so that I think now, but not once I'm at the sewing machine. Right. So I tried to have a system right. of laying everything out so that I know which seam is going to be where. It's so easy. We put this on top of this, and then by the time you get to the sewing machine, it's Are like, you wondering oh. which, which one was meant to be sewing? Yeah. Yes. So well, especially when you've got, when you've already worked out your, the way they're going. Yes. Because if you did that one, and took it the, and sewed down the wrong seam, your stripes are going to be going the wrong way. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So find your own system by all means, but if this works you, 
then by all means use it. So what I do is I always take the piece that is on the right hand side and lay it over the left hand side one. So this right. will be sewn onto that. Mm -hmm. So I lay that onto there, that onto there, that onto there. And then if, it's, if I've got quite a few pieces or it's quite complicated, I'll just put a pin so I know this is the seam. So you're not, you're not pinning it as in where you're going to sew, you're just no. literally pinning the line where you're going to be sewing. Yes, you yeah. can. If you want to take the time and align them up and then pin them, I by all means do that. I just tend to do this for ease yeah, and yeah. then I'll line it up when I get to the sewing machine. But then I know this is going to be my sewing seam. Right. And then I will stack them up like this so that I can just change. So you've gone from bottom to top? Yes. Okay. One thing I would do yeah. before moving them, once you've got it all laid out how you want, take a photo on your phone. Right. So that one, you can have a look on your phone to also double check you still like it. Yeah. Uh, but also you've also got a record of where everything goes afterwards. Yeah, of course. That will actually be really useful for this quilt. Okay. But also sometimes looking at something straight on and looking at a picture of something you can, it looks completely different it doesn't does. it and so just by simply taking a picture on your phone you're going to see it from a different perspective aren't mm -hmm. you it just sort of removes you from it so you you can have a, a sort of better idea of what uh -huh. it all looks like julie oh. vaughan's joined us she says good morning john and emma morning. christine says morning emma and john scott good morning all of you so now you're sewing it together yep. using a quarter inch seam allowance yes and the quarter of an inch is the default seam allowance for all quilting yeah so it is generally always a quarter of an inch if you're doing a more complicated quilt what i recommend is to check your seam allowance to see how big it is or skinny it is yeah is take a couple of well do four squares um, of any size but two and a half inches is a good starter mm -hmm. uh, sew them all together to make a four patch and then measure that four patch so if they're two and a half inches they should be four and a half when they're sewn together yeah yeah yes because you've used up half an inch for the two quarter inch seam allowances yeah, yeah. and if it's bigger than four and a half then that means that your seam allowance is too skinny right and you need to make it a bit wider and if it's smaller your seam allowance is too, too big, big and need to make it skinnier and how you adjust that on most modern sewing machines is while your sewing machine is sewing straight the width adjustment stitch width adjustment is how you can nudge your needle to the left or to the right yeah, a little exactly. bit to make it fatter or skinnier yeah yeah and then sometimes some some uh instructions say do a scant quarter of an inch don't they yes. so if they say that you then set it a quarter of an inch and then would you just move your needle one increment to the right hand side just to make it that little bit smaller yeah it depends on the sewing machine okay it depends how how much it adjusts but right. yeah one or two or, or more depending on how much it nudges <clears throat> oh, sorry, got, oh, hang on, one. As a beginner and a visual learner, when I receive my kit, I write the date of the programme on the box, oh. so I go back to it. P.S. It's my birthday. Happy, oh, birthday. happy birthday, Maureen. Happy birthday, my love. I think we've also got a picture to show. Me. Did you say there was a picture in there? Uh, uh, uh. There it is. This was my first quilt. Also oh, a cave wow. quilt from the cave book from Julia. Oh, lovely, Beautiful. Julia. Beautiful. Some people are very... Um, they jump in, don't they? They jump, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? I'd be like, oh, I'll do four squares and that'll be my quilt. But yeah. that, that's amazing. Another amazing one for a first one. Oh, stop warning, stop warning on oh. this one. Stop warning on checkerboard of checkerboards. <clears throat> right, the quilt should be £199. We've taken £20 off, so it's £179.99. And you get in the book, which was worth £24.99, uh, completely and utterly for free. Seven left, seven left once you've wow. all checked out. I so think please be careful. Also for this one, especially because you get in the book with it, you could just buy the kit for the fabric 
and then leaf through the book. There might be some another pattern oh, there yes. that you a like. Oh, yes, good idea. So, yes, yeah, so you've got <coughs> the fabric in the box, right? Inside the pattern, on the first page, it tells you how much you've got. I don't know if we can see that, Bruce. It tells you how much of each fabric you've got there. This is the same with all our box quilts, right? So it tells you what the fabric is. So, like, there you've got flower dot there uh, in blue, and you've got 30 centimetres of that one. Number two, cloison, blue, you've got 30 centimetres of that one. If you don't want to make the checkerboard of checkerboards, you've bought this bundle. In the back of this book, there are 20... Oh, there are 20 different patterns in the back of this book, right? So you could think, well, I don't want that one. I'll try. I'm not saying it'll be exactly the same, but wasn't the one you just, was it that one you pointed out? I can't remember which one it was you it pointed was out to me earlier. The one I liked. Oh. Well, that is the one we're doing. Check. <coughs> yeah. Oh, wait, no, it was this the one. Back. There. You yeah. see, now, I can't guarantee that there's the right amount of fabric in there to make this one, but you could make some, make your own version of that from the fabrics within this book. So maybe you don't want checkerboards or checkerboards, maybe you want to, but you're getting all of this for free. So you're getting 20 patterns for free. All I would say is, before you start cutting it out in the one that you've chosen, just check that fabric against the fabric that's in the box. I don't want you to start cutting and then go, well, John Scott said I could make toast and marmalade out of this one. Oh, toast and marmalade, that'd be nice, wouldn't Ooh, it? Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, John Scott said, and, and there's not enough fabric. Please, 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 just check. Cause, because in, like, toast and marmalade here, it tells you how much of each fabric you need to buy and everything like that. So, so you can do that. You can look at that and cross-reference and make, maybe make a different quilt. It's a good idea, Emma. Mm -hmm. I just bit my lip while I was doing that. Oh, no. I don't know. In excitement of mm. making a different quilt. Good morning, Science Street, John and Emma. We morning. had a late morning, sorry. We're loving the cave quilt. Mm. Great back to basics workshop with Emma. Have a Aww, lovely show, everyone, you. from Kat. Oh yeah, and if you missed the morning, are there any left? There's a few of the early bird left. If you missed the early bird, there were two early birds this morning, check them both out. There we go, so that's all pressed. Yeah. Let's go like that. So I've pressed my seams all to this dark green stripe. Right. So that when I lay, I, that goes going to go on top of that. Yeah. At the corners here, my seams are going in opposite directions. Where are they going? They're going. Going? <laughs> so they nest. They nest well. So that means that, um, when you get to those corners, because your seams are going in opposite directions, it's going to sort of hold that corner. Yeah. Because they work against each other. So it really helps to align up those corners. When's your next trip to Amsterdam or any of the oh. flower places? I don't know. We were supposed to have like a planning meeting this month, I think. Yeah. In Germany. Oh. But I don't know if that's... Because if those of you who don't know, apart from being an excellent quilt maker and quilter mm -hmm. and everything, Emma's got a proper job as well. She's yep. a botanist. Mm -hmm. And she works for the company, a company that make, you know, the sachets of food that you get to put in. But it's all technical and um, scientific and everything. But she, the one thing about Emma is when she travels around the world, when we very, very first met Emma, she was doing a lot, it was before COVID, so she's doing a lot more traveling. And each time she came in, Hannah would say, she's got a different accent this week. She's got a different <laughs> accent. And she picks up mm -mm -mm. little accents from wherever you've been. Mm -hmm. And it's fantastic. And going, I don't know where going, going comes going. from. Going, so I've met, so my actual, my motorbike instructor, oh, yes. who is from Pole Beach, I think, he said going. Oh. And I, we were on the motorbike because we talk to each other yeah, on the yeah. motorbike and he said, you're going? I'm like, oh my God, you said going. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what? I wait. think it's a local thing. I think it's from, because I'm from Peterborough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fairly local thing to the possibly the uh, fence. Oh, wow. So I'm not the only one. Oh, wow. I thought that was one of your Dutch ones, that one. Going? No, going. No, it's actually, um, yeah, it's actually a local. Ah. Oh. Brilliant. Going back to my roots with that one. Yeah. There we go. So now when you're making a quilt like this in real mm -hmm. life, do you mm -hmm. best press first? It depends on the fabric, mm -hmm. but yeah, I would. So these woven ones, I think would be nice to have a best press on. Okay. Uh, they're nice to work with. They are a little bit lighter. Right. So, um, so a best press, if you don't know, is uh, like a spray conditioner, spray starch that we sell. Mm -hmm. uh, and you spray it onto the fabric before you cut anything out. And it just slightly stabilizes the fabric. It disappears when you wash it or anything like that. But it's not like a starch. It doesn't leave a residue or anything yeah. like that. It just gives the fabric a little, especially if you're doing, well, when we come to this later on, because you've got a lot of bias, you've got a lot of uh, particular channels on the bias. 
We'll put it in, if we've got any, we'll put it in the later hour for you. We'll it smells divine as well. Oh, yeah, it depends which one you get. Oh, yeah. Hannah loves the Caribbean. Oh, I haven't tried never, We've never sold it, oh, but okay. when we go to Festival of Quilts, she goes straight to the, um, <laughs> the stand that does it, right? And she's like smelling all the different smells. Does she have a spritz? <laughs> well, no, because she likes them all, you see. Um, imagine she'd be like this, she'd be walking around the Festival of Quilts like this then. <laughs> um, she, apparently it's a Christmas one. Oh. Didn't know that. I like the uh, linen cupboard one. The one that mm. smells like a linen cupboard. Right, I'm going to press the last seam. Any tips on pressing? <clears throat> pressing. So, always, before you even open it up, yeah. just press your seam first and that just sets the stitches right and it prevents anything from warping yeah we and can't then, watch you there at the moment can i just push oh, you across a little bit that's yeah, right yeah yeah so i didn't want to do it on the map but this no, is a fine, good, there you go. good heat on the map can i do what hannah there we go yeah i'm just pushing the guest it's fine we're friends <laughs> so press the seam before you open it up first yeah. and then gently and you are the reason we say pressing it's because you are pressing, you're not ironing, are no, you? You're not ironing not like doing, it's, it's a not, shirt. Yeah, yeah, it's not a vigorous sort of... Yeah. You've got to be gentle with them. It's funny though, isn't it? You're gentle go. with them while you're making them, but then you think once they're layered up and they're quilted, they, they go on the bed, they go on the sofa, oh, they, get, the... they get thrown all <laughs> yeah. over the place, don't they? Do you they know do. what I mean? Uh, yeah, I definitely think a quilt should be for, for using. I make quilts for using. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. They get spread out on the grass and all sorts. Oh, I gave my niece one, you oh, did. Oh, lovely. she absolutely loved it. Oh, she yay. thought it was brilliant. So, yay. Well, if she wants a sleeve putting on, yeah. let me oh, know. No, she, she knows exactly where it's going. She's got okay. like um, a mezzanine layer. Yeah. And that in, the pla well, she might, in a few years' time, when she moves, she might come, okay. I might come back to you. Yeah, but yeah. she's got it hang, gonna hang it over the oh, mezzanine layer. So nice. it'll give warmth to the room and it'll yeah. look lovely and everything. Oh, yeah, lovely, it's yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so that is it. So then you've got all your blocks done. Yes. Then it's a case of, just like I did, sewing the the block into strips. So you make 20 of these, basically. Yeah. Um, all in the different things. And then, again, before you put them together, would you do the same things you did with the single oh, block? Would you lay yes. them all out lay again somewhere? Out. Yes, definitely. Lay them all out. Take a picture. Yeah. So lay them out how you think you want them, take yeah. a picture and then have a look and then just see because you'll catch things on your phone and your picture that yeah. you won't actually see. So, yes, exactly. Yeah. Also, lots of people say they go away and have a cup of tea, leave it, oh, that's go a good away, idea. have a cup of tea and come back because sometimes you see something different yeah. when you come back to it. And Stuart puts his out and then goes outside and looks at it through the window oh. from, for a completely different perspective completely. That's a good idea. But also, sometimes with tonal, we can't see no. when you just go like this you go oh yeah it looks lovely if you take a black and white picture oh yeah you can get you can suddenly realize you've got too many darks down one side or too many lights across the top and then you can move them around before you've actually stitched them together yep. can't you yeah so yeah so definitely take your time with that part yeah. and then it's literally just like i put the squares together yeah. to make the block you do the same thing oh okay yeah, no sashing bigger. or anything is there they're no. literally together yeah so now would you because it's four by four would you sew a row of four together a row of four together and do that and then sew two rows together and two rows together then sew the middle together so you then got the square in the middle yes you've then got two borders on this one yes so borders oh and that's one oh, thing sorry i don't know if i'm jumping ahead no 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 borders i wanted to talk about because we're talking about cutting yeah so i haven't got this pressed but what is it borders if you can it's best to cut them instead of width the fabric oh right because earlier we were saying oh we'll just go for width of fabric for borders yeah. you cut length of fabric yes and that is for a couple of reasons one you don't have to seam it so you won't have any seams in your borders which is a little bit nicer but yeah. also the length of fabric whichever which one it the is the warp <laughs> yeah the weft goes left the warp goes up okay so the warp is more sturdy than the weft, which is less stretch. Oh, is it? Going you see, because in dressmaking, I cut either way out, not thinking that one might okay. be stronger than the other. So, instead of putting your silver judges together to... To do uh, width the fabric. Width the fabric, you then have to take your length and... Oh, so you fold it along... Along the length. So I'm, I'm just doing it. I'm just gonna. Right. But then you'd have to do it again. You'd have to fold yeah. again, wouldn't you, to, to get it it's onto the table? It's a little bit harder to cut yeah. because you've got a lot of layers to go through. So if you've got a, a, um, a, 
a bigger rotary cutter that sometimes helps yeah bigger mat um well like this would you do the 60 millimeter with the with the um if, if you have a lot of if you've got a very long border this i've been able to fold this into fours yeah which is quite nice because a nice uh, that's what you would normally the number of layers you'd normally cut through when you do widths of fabric so mm -hmm. that's the same so it feels the same as cutting widths of fabric if you've got a longer border and you've got more folds then a bigger rotary cutter might be a bit easier yeah do i mean a 60 or do i mean a 90 what's the 60. big what's the big one 60 isn't 60, it yeah? yeah so to do this i always fold um just one selvage edge and just line up one selvage edge and then I usually do this on a on a bigger table. I was going to say then, you mess up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about. It. Do you want me to come and hold it up to, so it doesn't slide off? Yeah. Then it's the same. So you make sure everything is all lined up. Your ends. You don't have to worry too much about that. But you would line up with the bottom. I would yeah. Line use a bigger cutting mat than this yeah. one. Yeah. Yes. Bigger cutting mat. Make sure all your selvage edges are nicely on top of each other. So that's all lined up. You don't have anything going too skewy. Yeah. Um, line up this bottom corner this bottom fold rather with one of the lines on your mats mm -hmm. cut your selvage edges off yes and then cut and then your, measure yeah cut your strips as you need and also you have to also be aware of no not at this point not of cutting out but when you start putting it together you need to be aware of your um direction of fabric and things don't you because you can get fabric. one upside down yeah yep. say that again han yeah yeah that's fine yep. right okay so uh, thank you, Emma. Emma oh, Rebecca now, when we're doing this quilt, we've got, this is the finished quilt, but this is one of the colourways we've got in. We haven't got it in. This is Emma's original one that she did at home, but we've got, ours are very similar, but it's not that colourway. But, but we've got one question before we start rounding oh, yeah. up. Loving the show. I want to start quilting, but I'm confused about the term quilting weight fabric. What is oh. quilting weight, Patsy from Spain? So, start off with um, quilting fabric is always 100% cotton. Right. That's one thing. Quilting weight fabric, it's a little bit heavier than if we want to say like dress weight fabric. Yes, which is like a poplin. Yeah, it's yeah, more like a poplin or a little bit, even a little bit heavier. Oh, okay. Um, so with your clothes, you want them to have a nice drape. So the cotton that we wear is a lot thinner than quilting yeah. weight. So quilting weight is um, just basically a heavier, thicker cotton but we do cotton. make out of our quilting weight fabric here we do do some dressmaking shows but yep. we choose the fabric obviously you, if you want it to be diaphanous and floaty yes. you don't pick a quilting weight cotton you pick, pick a lawn a poplin or a chiffon or something or oh, quilting weight like you're saying it, it's basically you can I, I, what's the gsm of the of oh not, yeah uh, yeah I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll, I'll look in the break for you, I'll look in the break for you, yep. but I'll tell you, that basically, it's a, um, GSM is the way you weigh a uh, grams a metre of your weigh a fabric sort of thing, but it's grams per square metre, isn't it, GSM, and, and I'll tell you what our quilting weight GSM is when after the break I'll tell you what it is and then you can always then work it out because most of the time if you go on our on our website it will say fabric color designed by and at the bottom it's got GSM so you know that the perfect quilting weight would be I don't know I'm gonna say three to 325 but it might that might be the wrong one but you know what I mean and then then you can always look if you're buying the fabric in the future you go well my stock one is 325 I, this one's either heavier or lighter than that and you can then work it out I'll, I'll get that in the break for you yeah. right so um good question though quilt kit quilt kit quilt kit so this should be 199.99 uh, Hannah's taken 20 pounds off but also the management have added the free Quilts in Wales, Kate Facets Quilts in Wales, but which we sell for twenty four ninety nine. So you're getting that for free, and you're getting twenty pounds off the off the quilt kit itself. Now I need to just do a stock update for you. Okay, uh, there are four left. Four left. Once you've checked out, there are four left of this quilt, of this quilt here, which mm. is the feature on our quilt that way, featuring on the front of this book. There it is. And it's a big, well, you can see how big that quilt is there. So 179.99, please check out, please check out if you've got it in your basket. 
because now what happens is uh, now the hour is over more people will start coming in and putting it in their basket and checking out straight away because uh, because it's day it's like the long river it's not yours till you check out basically so if you put it in your basket but then somebody else either rings or puts it in their basket and checks out they'll get it before you do it's not just putting it in your basket doesn't mean to say it's yours so that's that bundle there i just want to show you the ruler that emma was oh. just using sorry remember no, no, the no, m the ruler that emma was just using 24 and a half by six and a half inch creative grid so what's brilliant about this, you've got a quarter inch seam allowance on one side. Am I in the right place? Yep. Quarter inch seam allowance on one side, half an inch on the other. The black numbers are your half inch numbers and then your white numbers are your solid numbers. Then on the back of these, well also you can see the increments are in black and white. So it doesn't matter what colour fabric you put it on, you're going to be able to see the, let me just put that one under there. You can see the increments there. So on that one, you'd follow the white increment sort of thing. But also on the back of here, they've got these patented little circles of rough silicon. Don't affect your fabric, but it stops it sliding everywhere. £28.99 for that ruler. And nearly all our designers, and Emma said it this morning, said, if you're only going to buy one creative grid ruler, this is the one to buy. So that's that one. If you've got your voucher for Christmas, treat yourself to that. And then I had the, the beginner kit earlier, which is under here. So on here, this is a brilliant, now this is, we call it a beginner's kit, but none of them are just for beginners. So if you go sewing and if you take your sewing away to your caravan or to the way for the weekend, or you get an Airbnb by the seaside or something like that, you want to do some sewing while you're there, then this is the ideal size there. And look at the price. I also suggest you go and have a look on, on other websites to see how much, you'd, how much you can pay for a kit like this. Because you get the rotary cutter, you get the ruler and you get the mat all for 19.99. It's brilliant and this i've got this one i've got this one i've got this little set when we did do you know when we did that um you could buy a block and you had to you could buy a panel sorry you can make a block out of it and then it went all went into the sewing street block and then we gave them away for charity and things like that i made mine using this very set of three things on the kitchen counter so they're in my house uh 19.99 right don't go anywhere Thank you, Emma, by the way. We'll yeah, see you in an hour's time. Okay. Uh, what have I got next? Oh, I've got Kaif and other fabrics coming up. Ooh. Brand new Kaif, and I've got the Anna Maria that I didn't get through in the eight o'clock hour. And then Emma will be back in now with this lovely quilt behind me. Don't go anywhere. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.
Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. You know, we launched the 85... Oh, by the way, about the GSM thing, um, I forgot to do it in the break. What I'll do is I've got a chart at home. I'll put it on the Facebook. I'll put it on the Facebook fan page when I get home later. Uh, Hannah, will you write that down just to remind me? Because I might forget because it's hours away. And I'll put it on the Facebook fan page with all the GSMs for different weights of fabric for you later on. Then you can go and check it there. Right, because we think what some websites do is they don't update. And so it's kind of... I just wanted, I just wanted to be right for you. Right, uh, you know we launched this fabric just recently. It's the Cave 85th birthday uh, range, right? We had it by the half meter, but we didn't have any in um, pre-cuts, I don't think, did we? No, thank you. No, so this is the first pre-cut I think we've seen of the um, 85 Fabulous range. Just going to unpack it there. Now, the actual range... Um, sold so quickly it flew out the door so quickly hang on a second i'll be with you one minute there you go right look at these these are stunning oh now 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 that price is wrong right because all of our new 10 inch charm packs from free spirit supposed to be 47.99 because we had, did this yesterday didn't we we had some at 47 and 44 so we looked into it and the newer ones are supposed to be 47.99 this is brand new. This has never been seen here before. At uh, $44.99. Anyway, look at these fabrics. They are stunning. They're already selling, by the way. They're already going on pre-order, these. Look, 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 look. Aren't they just beautiful? Look. They are gorgeous. Now, these are 10-inch squares. What can you do with a 10-inch square? Oh, actually, we've got a picture. Got a picture. Who's it from? 
Oh, hi, John and Emma. Oh, I had a quilted jacket for my mum's Christmas present using... Uh, sorry, I made a quilted jacket for my mum's Christmas present using a 10-inch square pack. It was a bit down to the wire. She neatly got it in a kit... Hang on. She ne oh, she nearly got it in kit form. Oh, dear. But no, it wasn't the fabric that was down to the wire. It was you cutting it fine with time. But she was delighted with it. The first garment I've made since school days, and that was a while ago. Oh, Susan. Best wishes for a great sewing year to you all from Susan in Northumberland. Susan, it looks gorgeous. Now, is it the pattern from the Great British Sewing Bee book, that one? Because they did it on the Great British Sewing Bee last year, didn't they? Oh, lots of messages. Laurie says, good morning, John and Emma. Always love seeing Emma. Oh, she'll be back in an hour. Uh, Jane says, looking forward to the next demo. Looks beginner friendly. Lo says, morning, John. Off to the Ivy later today with my son and his fiance. Two E's because she's a lady. Fiance, two E's. Uh, fiance with one E if it's a man. Anyway, here you go. Every day is a school day. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to the Ivy in Cheltenham soon. Which one are you going to, Lo? Anyway, look. Beautiful. And the thing I love about a 10 inch layer cake is you look. You don't know which bit of the fabric you can get. So those blue ones are just random in it, aren't they? If you've got one blue one, that one, there might be one we get. Look, see that one there. You, beautiful. Look, beach balls. Oh, chevron. I've not seen the, these fabrics because they came in and they were sold. By the time I did the advert for them, then Vix did the launch. Uh, was it Vix that launched? I think it was, wasn't it? And then suddenly it was all, they were all gone. Anyway, look, beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Love that. That one's so cave, isn't it? Then you've got your lovely big chevron there. Oh, hang on, I've gone over one. Now, they, is that one cotton reels, do you think? Oh, spools, spools, there you go. Oh, look at that one. Okay, so now Hannah's just gone to Google 85 and fabulous 10 inch squares. She can't find them, she can find fat quarters. She can find the half meters. Oh, a couple of independent Etsy's. And they're at £49. Beautiful, look. Beach balls. Gorgeous, aren't they? Look. Go up. Oh, yeah, you can get it in America. What's the email for sending photos? Diane, I'll show you now. Here it is, it's just coming up now. There, oh, no, 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 the email address, sorry, Bruce. <laughs> there you go, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. That was for Diane. Oh, she's going to the Exeter one with my son and his beard. Oh, that's classy. I hope he's paying, Lo. I hope he's paying. Anyway, should we carry on looking at these? We found it in one place on Etsy. Oh, it's in dollars everywhere. So how much is that one? $47.99, but that would have to, you'd have to get that shipped from America then, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, it seems we can only get fat quarters in the UK at the moment. Beautiful, look at that. The background of that is done like a linen texture. It's not linen, it's 100% cotton, but... Beautiful. Message on my bottom. Morning, John and team. Kay Fast is doing a talk at the New Cider Mill Theatre in Camden. Oh, is it tonight? I was meant to go. Fingers crossed I could go. Susan, I was meant to be there tonight. Now, why did, not, why did I say I couldn't go? Well, I've got work in the morning. Uh, oh, no, no. I, is it only tonight? Because uh, I was going to take Dulcie. Now, maybe Dulcie wasn't free tonight. No, no, I know Dulcie's free tonight. Anyway, have a lovely time if you go. Have a lovely time if you go. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, if you Google this, let us know if you can find it anywhere in the country because we can only find one person on Etsy in the UK that's got this. Has what's his name in Birmingham not got it? No, that's unusual. So we can find fat quarters, but we can't find the 10 inch layer cake. Beautiful, isn't it? 
£44.90 pence over a quarter of the stock has gone. Lots in baskets. Oh, half the stock's gone now. Half the stock has gone now, not quarter. That was quick, wasn't it? Message on my bottom. Morning all. It was my 74th birthday yesterday. I've treated myself to the quilt just for me. Love Janice. Oh, Janice, happy birthday for yesterday. Which one, which one did you buy? Which quilt did you buy, Janice? The, the squares, the, the checkerboard one. Or, or, yeah, lovely, lovely. 44.99, this 10 inch charm pack, uh, 10 inch layer cake, sorry. I got it the wrong way around. 10 inch layer cake. It's a layer cake, this one. Oh no, no, it's not Mojo, is it? Sorry, Kat, I see what you're talking about, yeah. Uh, charm pack. It's not the end of the world, because it's called a stacker out somewhere else, isn't it? No? What's that? You get 10 inch squares anyway, 10 inch squares. I've still got what, Han? Beautiful. Okay, we'll come back to that in a little while because lots of you there dithering. N not dithering. You can dither as much as you like. That's all. I'll warn you. I'll warn you if you're in danger, but more than half the stock's gone. It's only a little mega bundle. Oh, this one. This one, this one, this one, this one. Sorry. There's me pushing this one out of the way. This is 85 and fabulous by the half metre. Let's see if I can sort it out. Oh, look. Right, we can't make any more of these because I presume some of them have sold out by the half metre, have they? On the website, some of these, the ones that are available are still there by the half metre, but there's not that many. Ooh. Now I'm thinking... There's some colourways here that weren't in the 10 inch layer cake charm pack. When I'm, one was a chevron. Right, so we didn't have, did we have four colours of that there? I think, we've, look, beautiful. So we've got the flower one, we've got the beach ball one, we've got that beautiful one that I said was very cafe. Then we've got the um, spools one, the chevrons one. That one on its own there with the lovely little folksy flowers. Then we've got more flowers there. And then that big, big circular one, the red. 135.83. There are uh, eight and a half metres there, but you're getting one metre for free. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eight. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I've won, I'm, I'm, um, can we have the picture? Because I've got, I've got, I've got, let's just double check here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it should be 19, and I've only got 18, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That one, no, I've got that one. How long, I can have a look on, on my picture there. Can you see that on that picture, Cat, there? You will get, you will get 90, you will get, hang on, eight and a half metres, that's 16, 17. Actually, no, hang on. Eight and a half metres is 17, right? But on that picture, one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, there's 19 on that picture, but actually eight and a half meters is only 17. So I'll need to, f I'll need to work out which you took. So you definitely, so you get nine and a half meters, not eight and a half meters then. You do get nine and a half meters then. So you get an extra one here, but I can't figure out which one it is. Beautiful. 135.83. There's definitely 19 there, aren't there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah. So I've only got eighteen in my pile here, so I've just got one missing, but you will get it.
No, 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 it's fine. I'm, I'm just sitting here with Kat looking through the pile there. Take them out, take them out. I'll sort of say, you will get the right amount of fabric. You will get the right amount of fabric. Gorgeous. Oh, okay. From this, from this range. Okay. Here, these. Right, these are all by the half metre. These are all you miss it, miss out now. These are all you miss it, miss out. Any particular order? Okay, so I've got uh, 06 is the first one I've got with lovely big folksy floral pictures on, flowers on. It's called Embroidered Flower Border, this one. So I don't even recognise this one. From the Artisan range. Oh, there you go. Few, we got a few, only, on the first day of launching, this sold out, they got a few back, but now it's miss it, miss out time. Seven metres of this one left. We must have been able to get one more bolt then. That must have been what it was, we got one more bolt. 7 .99. It's lovely, isn't it, with all the different stripes in there. Embroidered flower border, 7 .99 for half a metre. Lovely. Oh, that's going, that's going. Please be careful. That'll be gone by the end of today, that one. Oh, I love this fabric. Love, I don't think I've seen it in this colourway before. Yeah, it's like the Japanese chrysanthemum, but look at the lilacs and the blues in there and the pinks in there. Oh, let me just move that out of the way. Isn't that lovely? Oh, six metres, that's all I've got left of that one. Miss it, miss out. Oh, they've called it grey. I mean, there is some grey in there, but I wouldn't have said the overall colour was grey, would you? Oh, it's the background. You can hardly see any of the background, but the background's grey. Beautiful. Then I've got, ending 18, these spiky flowers called cactus flower. That's why they're spiky. There's only five metres of this one left. Now this will really be miss it, miss out today. It's lovely, it's very dramatic, isn't it? 7.99. Now lovely feathers on black. Ooh, it's dramatic this one. Very bold. It's like, like I would say, a black background always makes the colours pop, doesn't it? It's lovely. I love the way it's kind of um, very, um, I don't want to, I don't, what painting technique do you call it when it's very simple lines like that? Gorgeous. I want to say, I, I'm, in my, I was called Tickle My Fancy, that fabric. Um, I want to say, like, um, we used to call it primitive when I was at art school, but I don't know if that's still the word, you know, because all the different words we can and can't use now. So this is the embroidered stripe again in green. Five metres of this one left. Five metres of this one left. Oh, it's, this one's called Green Floral Arrangement. Oh, oh, someone got a different name to it. This one's called Green Floral Arrangement, this one. Just double check. Three meters left. It's lovely though, isn't it? Oh, graphics coming out. Then, now I've never, ever, ever seen this next one before. Very strange. No, I don't recognize it at all. Hannah thinks she might have seen it in a pre-cut. It's a Brandon and it's called Good Vibrations. Good, 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 good vibration. Ooh, up, up, ooh. Beautiful. Morning, Carol. I think that's lovely. Very unlike them just to do black and white, isn't it? Especially Brandon. This is what, oh no, it worked beautifully with so many of their other prints. Less than five metres. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, now the next one, uh, again, another one with a black background. These look like big fans. Oh no, they're flowers as well. Uh, this one's called Turkish Delight. 
Only nine meets this one left. Now, that one's very dark, but not in a moody way. You know what I mean? It's kind of like uh, rich. Message on the bottom. Good morning. I'm loving the cave fabrics. The patterns always look so 3D. Uh, Michelle, they do. Happy New Year to you all from Michelle in Greater London. Thank you. Oh, we had some sad news yesterday. You know, Luna. Luna's gone over the Rainbow Bridge. Oh, no. No more squirrels. For, well, there'll be squirrels in heaven for Luna. So we're sending Terry lots of love. Beautiful. Oh, now, I think this one's called Embroidered Shawl. If I'm, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, it was. It is. Embroidered Shawl, this one. Seven ninety nine. This is one of his latest ones as well. Seven ninety nine for half a metre. Remember, you're cutting it off the bolt for you. Hmm? No, 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 it's not in the, the f f f it was the one launch one we had, I launched this, the one just before, 85 Fabulous, but, it, no, 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 it was very, very, it was very, very quick that when the 85 and Fabulous came out, this one came out, sold out, and then 85 and Fabulous came out as well. Well, I think the 85 and Fabulous was a special launch, wasn't it, for his birthday. Now, I've now got uh, one... I don't know if this is called the, the Border or the Floral Collection. Oh, no, this is Embroidered Flowers, this one. They've all got funny, different names, haven't they? Oh, that's why I got confused. We've called it something different to Cave. That's what it is. Only three meters of this one left. Beautiful. Then I've got one of these left. There we go. This one's called Brollies. $7.99. Beautiful. Right, lots of you asking to see the 10 inch uh, charm pack again here we go brand new brand new today this one we hannah is googling and yahooing and binging she cannot find this in this country apart from one did you say one person on etsy has got it in the uk 44.99 well uh, the thing is i don't think this should be i think this should be 47.99 here Beautiful though, aren't they? Look. Got a picture to show you. Oh, I say. This is the disappearing hourglass I did in K Facet 10 inch charm pack from Diane. Oh, that was Diane who just messaged in asking for the email address. Oh my word, that's gorgeous. Ooh, lovely. Oh, there's only eight of these left. Once you've all checked out, there's only eight of these left. These berries do look... Don't eat red berries, kids. That, they're definitely not strawberries. Beautiful. Look, those flowers are stunning, aren't they? Now, the red berries aren't red on that version. They're chocolate berries. Okay. That's the new one. That's about to sell out. Please be careful. Right, which one? As in... Dark, here you go. This is design roll. This is your dark classic. This is open, I'll open it up for you here. Look at these gorgeous fabrics on here. So $44.99. Right now, 
Uh, the only reason we're allowed to do that is Hayley was producing yesterday and she took 10% off a lot of these. So there you are, you're getting your 10% off again today. Yeah. Beautiful. Lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. Oh! Geranium leaf. Those always remind me of, I've got some Christmas trees that have like the plastic flowers on them and when the bulb lights up on the middle it just makes the, the petals all look like that. Gorgeous! Oh, then it's called blue. Is it called blue? No, it's just called dark. Dark, 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 dark. Okay, that's that one done. Parakeet is that one there. Thank you. Now you see, this, this is what I'm saying. 47.99. 47.99. Right, but watch what, uh, what she did. Not Hannah, Hayley did this yesterday. So what she did was, we started off and they were 44.99. Then this one came up as 47.99. She went on doing the same price. So it got over 10% off this one. Don't know why. No. Bright, bright, beautiful colours, this one. Look at these lovely colours. Beautiful. Lovely, they're kind of, you know, you see those pictures and the, when the sun, I took a photo of um, Luther in the windowsill the other morning and the sun, it just makes everything that kind of, I don't know how you'd call it, there's a famous uh, artist, isn't there, who did like pictures of Venice and it was just the morning light and it made all the colours look like this. I want to say Vionetta, but that's a pudding, isn't it? It's been a long time since I was at art school. Oh, Anne says, just got my calendar on the naked picture. Can see your cat. I can see, I can see my cushion. Not mine, her cushion. I had a house full of people there. There was the photographer, there was Hayley, there was Hayley Bryant. I wasn't going to take my trousers off because I was that lot in this room. No, they wanted me to. Yeah. I thought they were joking when they said, take your top off. I was just going to be, you know. Anyway. Beautiful parakeet, 40 pounds and 49 pence. Put that to one side. I've got, right, oh, what's this one? I've got uh, Mars first, if that's all right. Mars, this is lovely deep colours on this one. So this one was a 44.99 one, so you get 10% off this. What? We had, did we not have it yesterday? I thought we did, didn't we? Oh, we had it as a 10 inch charm pack yesterday. So we're just going to do this. We're not meant to. There you go. <clears throat> we can't have everyone else getting 10% off and not these. Exactly. £40.49. and 49 pence. Shouldn't be reduced. Well, you're right, Bruce. Oh, you too. We'll have less of that chat. Forty pounds and forty-nine pence. You, yeah, Hannah. Oh no, because they do a different road now. I was told yesterday by Ben. Because you know we do the well, I the presenters don't do it, but the um, the proper workers do a seven-day fortnight. They do a five-day week and a two. We, you know. But they do a set, Hannah and Ben have changed theirs without telling you one. Instead of five and two, they've done four and three. Well, no, you have changed it from a five and two. But that's what everyone's on. 
Everyone's on a five and a two. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I wondered why when I came in sometimes expecting you and Ben were sitting there and vice versa. 40 pounds and 49 pence. Lovely. And I've got one left. What was that one called? That one's called Mars. That's called Mars, that's that one. But I've got one left of this one. This one's called Equator. This one's 47.99. And Forty pounds and forty-nine pence. Forty pounds and forty-nine pence. Lovely, rich, hot colours in there. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Right, that's it. Oh no, 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 no. That's it for two and a half inch design rolls. I've got. Uh, it's a. Oh, it's only one. Only, like, only one in stock or only one design. Four. Right, look at the width of these, right? These are six inches and you get 20 of them. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Well done. Congratulations. I thought you were saying John. I was going, yeah, yeah. No, gone. Yeah. Now, these were... Right. Yesterday, when uh, Delphine was in on her confetti quilting, we had the 10 inch charm packs, right? We've got the five inch ones today. Now, I haven't got all three colours I had yesterday. I haven't got the, um, I've got Ambrosia and I've got Rainbow Streets. I haven't got the Harvest Comforting one. I haven't got that one. These are the only two I've got. Which one would you like to do first? Rainbow Sweet Sweats. Now this is the really, really brightly gorgeous colour. In fact, they're all listed on the back, look. Right, so, 16 99 these should be. Look, laser cut to your five inch square. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, these were an early bird earlier in the week. Hannah's nicked them and she's going to match the price. Right, fourteen ninety nine. Good morning, Gemma. Fourteen ninety nine. Well, the Hoffman. You know, we get the barley pops from Hoffman, don't we? The, the, these are barley snaps, and we get the barley pops. You know, the two and a half inch strips as well. I'd never seen them in five inch or ten inch up until yesterday. Perfect for conf confetti quilting. Perfect for any of Delphine's applique projects. Oh, you're loving this one. So this one is your uh, Rainbow Sweets. And they lovely, look. Now remember, because they've been crashed, tomorrow they will be $16.99. The colours are beautiful, aren't they? Very uplifting for a, a January day. Look at that. Look how deep the colours are. Beautiful colours. Pure, really, really pure colours, aren't they? So you are getting 40. I think they're all a different colour as well, you know. I don't think there's any repeats. Oh no, brilliant look. And with a graduation, you could do one of those temperature quilt things with this, couldn't you? Because the, the graduation of colour. I'm not surprised people are multi-buying these. Hoffman 1895 Barley Watercolours, these are called. Beautiful. They're just lovely, aren't they? And what I love is they've included every single colour, haven't they? And ranges within that colour. Because sometimes you get a bundle like this and there's no yellow in it. And you think, oh, I wish I had a yellow in it. This has got everything in it. $14.99. We have matched the early bird price from earlier in the week. Fran on my bottom. This charm pack could be sewn in ombre. It could be. It could. Lovely. Lovely pack, that, yeah. Oh, no. So the picture on the web only shows you the green one on the front. I'm doing it now. 
Look, look, look. So let's... Well, they're not ombre, these. You'd have to rearrange them to get them to be ombre. But here you go. Miss Jumma Bottom. Lovely show this morning. So many gorgeous fabrics. And Kate, Kate, I was wondering where you were. Another message quickly. Hi, John. I think the Venetian artist... Canaletto, that's exactly it was. So it was pasta, not a Viennetta pudding. Spoilt for choice for these fabrics usual, Norma and crew. Thank you, Norma. That's exactly who it was. So I don't... Mm. Hannah loves the works of Viennetta. By walls. Other ice cream makes are available. But not a Venice. <laughs> okay, so we're going off on a different league now. So Hannah has seen a documentary about the factory that make those ice cream puddings that are called something like Violetta or whatever. I watched the um, New Year's Bake Off yesterday and they had to do a baked Alaska. But the, to me, the, the um, meringue was too runny on them. Not that I'm an expert. Oh, no phones in the gallery. It's a G and T. What time is it? It's only twenty to eleven. Oh yeah, we had some issues this morning. Oh, has he fixed it? Well, he's just unplugged it and plugged it back in again. This is all in one charm pack. This is one inch, one five inch charm pack. Hang on. Well, no, no, I've put the blue there, but actually what I would do is separate them into, because that's more of a tealy, isn't it? Like there, there you go. Oh, oh, now, am I going into pink or am I staying in purple with that? Here you go. I'll let Mm. Oh. Lots of people multi-buying on these. I'm not surprised. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, there's only one pack. And look, <clears throat> like I said, there is not... You know, normally you get two or three of one pattern or one colour and thing. There's no repeats of any colours here. Hmm? Beautiful. Oh, look at them. They're gorgeous. $14.99. Does he get paid double time for coming in on a Saturday? He's not coming in through the door to wave or anything. Look. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, look. That's one pack. For fourteen ninety nine, you get forty five inch squares. Isn't it lovely? There's a small queue on the phone lines. They'll be with you in seconds. Fourteen ninety nine. Can I see the picture that's on the website then? So it's this versus, so this is my picture of it, right? This is the website picture of it. No wonder. Yeah. No. You don't just get green, you get green, teal, blue, purple, pink, red, orange, yellow. The, now, Susan, Susan, Susan. These are perfect for Delphine's confetti quilting. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Because look, it's the same colour on both sides. You don't get that, um, you know, like if it, was, if it was just a print, if it was a digital print, be white with that. And then when you chop them all up, you know, like she chops them up like that. John, how will I explain that I've broken my New Year's resolution of making things before I buy more? Too tempting from Karen. And sorry. Right, so Karen, you get this home, you open the envelope to make sure it's all right. Then you put it back in the envelope and you leave it in the cupboard. But what my mum used to do, right? What? You can't touch it till next year. Or until, what was the New Year's resolution? You can't start new things till all the old ones are made. 
my mum used to buy a dress when she used to work in Browns of Chester, right? She had an office um, and she'd buy a dress and she'd hang the dress on the back of the door of her office. And then a couple of weeks later, would take it home. And my dad would say, that dress new? She went, I've had it for ages. Scotty, I've had it for ages, which she had, which she had, but it was just hanging on the back of her office door. I know. She wasn't telling a fib. So your mum does what? <laughs> so Hannah's mum says to Hannah's dad when he goes, is that a new dress you've got there? She, Shazza. She goes, I got it from a charity shop. It's got the label on it from Debenhams or Wallace or wherever. Got it in charity shop. Anyway, fourteen ninety nine. I mean, sometimes you can get brand new things in a charity shop with the label still in, but not every every time she goes shopping. Oh, fourteen ninety nine. So have you been able to see them? Have you seen them? Oh, because Hannah just before Christmas, Hannah was a bit worried because uh, you don't mind me telling this story, do you? That her mum and dad, but oh, mum got COVID, and she and Hannah was like, "I've got work, and I've got I can't see, can't see." And then of course Hannah got poorly as well, so she couldn't go home for Christmas. So um, she hasn't seen her mum and dad yet. Oh, it, blimey, that's lasted a long time. So Hannah's dad's texted negative now, so they can get together now. Um, what's Elle doing walking down the corridor? Yeah, no, but it's quarter to 11. Oh, do they have breaks at weird times next door? Oh, that's why we never see them in the break, isn't it? Because we all go running out in our break, never see a jewelry maker person. Just so I know. And how many have we got left? Well, there's a queue on the phone lines. I need to tell you over 150 have gone already and I haven't got another 150 to go around, that's for sure. These are gorgeous, aren't they? Also, buy one for you and buy one for a friend. Have them in your stash cupboard because they're not going to go out of fashion, are they? I was looking at the wrong camera then, wasn't I? Um, they're not going to go out of fashion. They're, you, they're arranged, well, they're both gorgeous. Yeah, I haven't even shown you Ambrosia yet. I've got another one yet called Ambrosia. This one's called Rainbow Sweets. Oh, I'm a bit, bit pecky. I've had my mini baby bell and I've had my Marks and Spencer's lemon gluten-free muffin. Message on the bottom. I always tell my husband when he asks, is that a new X, Y or Z? I say, no, you bought me this for such and such and I was waiting for a special occasion. Oh, Michelle, that's a good one. Yeah, tell them they bought it. Uh, I got the Ambrosia colorway after seeing them with Stuart the other day. I love the five inch charm packs and Batik's perfect from Kate. Right, okay, this one's not sold out yet. I'm gonna show you Ambrosia now. In case you want to see the different colorway. I'll, I'll keep that out, I'll keep that out. So that one's Rainbow Sweets. This one's Ambrosia now. Same thing, the five inch squares should be $16.99. Can we see the picture on the web, please, Bruce? That's what you're seeing on the web, right? Which is this, I'm gonna match the picture. Oh no, I'm gonna match the picture. And you're gonna match the price. Look, there you go, match the picture. Match the early bird price. Good morning, on my break this morning, nursing COVID residents. Oh, Kaylee, you're good. Right, look at this then. This is, you're not just getting that one, look. This, this one is called Ambrosia. Now I said just Ambrosia cream rice, I always think of. Hang on, so first of all, Hannah's watched a documentary on how they make Viennetta puddings now she says she went to an ice cream restaurant in new york no not ice cream rice pudding restaurant in new york so is that all they all they did different flavored rice puddings but how did you choose <laughs> so she went to a restaurant that did every single flavor of rice pudding she bought plain 
What other ones were there then? So is it like that vodka bar where you get jelly bean flavour and fish and chip flavour and... Oh, it might have just been toppings. You see, my dad used to put salt in his rice pudding, which is lovely. And I like jam in mine, so I would put jam and salt in mine. <laughs> no wonder I've got health issues in later life. I can't, um, come on, there we go. Beverly, yeah, exactly. I can't put that one up, I'm afraid. Oh, look at these. These are lovely pastel tones, aren't they? And I love also the way that they're slight, they're all different kind of, they're all of an ilk. They all go together beautifully, but that one's big splodges. You know what I mean? That one's got like little fungus in it. It's not real fungus, but like fungus kind of print in it. Again, that's close, but you don't get repeats. You don't get any repeats. These lovely, I haven't even finished unwrapping this one. Now I've got more in baskets for this one. Look at the greens in there. Oh, you see, did you see it then flash then? <laughs> it's like somebody's taking flash photography in here. Oh, don't. it's really funny because I was walking down a street in Covent Garden with a friend of mine. He went, do you ever get papped? And I was like, no, not anymore. And then literally these three photographers just jumped out of nowhere and started taking our picture. And he's like, you said you didn't get papped anymore. I said, I'm not famous anymore. I shouldn't be being papped. Anyway, it turns out they're actually following Denise Van Outen. And I just happened to walk down the street the other way. So they weren't out looking for me. But it happened to me outside Selfridges as well. I was outside Selfridges with my friend Taranay and her kids and everything. And these photographers all started taking pictures and they're going, is this your wife? Are these your kids? And I was like, do you know who I am? It's blowing a gale here, says June. Sea floodgates closed and battening the hatches. Oh, are we expecting a storm? Well, yes. Oh... Yeah, because they said there was going to be snow, didn't they? Oh, no. I was only thinking that this morning as I was driving in. Because I have to drive down... I could be the same as Bruce. We have to drive down little windy roads to get here. No, I won't be able to... Get, I got snowed in last time. Oh, Beverly! Beverly! Beverly, we're not offended, but there's rules about what words we can use in, in, in there, that's all. So, no, we're not offended in the slightest. Don't worry. So, no, I meant as in we've, there are rules about what can and can't be put in there. Look at these, look at this. This one here is your Ambrosia. Okay, how looks this? Think she's on a beach. Ocean waves and a cocktail. And above all, oh, she's having a margarita. Is Steph there with you? Oh. Steph's somewhere, but not lying on the beach with her. Oh, lovely. Red beach towel, purple swimming costume and your skin. Have you got a tan yet? $14.99. Oh, she's reading these like tarot cards now. There's no boyfriend. Three children. $14.99. It's very mild, says June, but wind, too windy to take the dogs out. Oh, dear. I love walking on a beach in the wind. And get a hot chocolate at the end, when you get to the end of the pier and you have a hot chocolate. $14.99. So which is your favourite? Do you like the, the, the pastel ambrosia or do you like the bright rainbow sweets? Ignore that. That's not part of this one. There you go. This is Ambrosia. Yeah, the picture on the web is just that one. But you're getting all of these. Well done if you checked out on these. Right, this, so this one here is your Rainbow Sweets. Oh. Over 200 of these have gone already. Beautiful, aren't they? Look. 
and the what and you don't just get one green square like it says on the website it's a bit of a mess now isn't it i've messed it up that one but there you go you can see what you're getting anyway can't you message blue a complete hooli in cornwall last night very little sleep oh me too and I've got, in my, going because now I'm in the spare bedroom, I've got attached to that window, there's only me in the house and the cats, it's not, I haven't had to fight or anything, I'm just, I'll be moving back into my room tonight, but, but, go, I was, I'm like the guest in my house waiting, a cup of tea please, uh, anyway, and I get the posh toilet paper in the ensuite bathroom, anyway, attached to my window are my Tibetan prayer flags, right, and then this wind, they're going like this, right, and they keep waking me up, anyway. Trees are just home from work. Uh, home from work at 5 to 11. The weather's miserable here, so lots of sewing to do. I bought these when Stuart had them on the other day. Okay, Teresa, it's fine. Beautiful. Message on the bottom. Hi, John, love these colors. Perfect for Santango. Oh, it's Sandra Santango. Have you bought any? Now, Sandra Santango, what's all that stuff stuck on the wall outside? I've been off for nine days. I came in and there's all this stuff stuck on the wall there. Outside, not here, not this. Outside there. And the builders were in yesterday because, was it you been complaining, Sandra Santangle? Somebody's complained that the green room's like a corridor. So I'm to build another wall to make it more enclosed. But anyway, where your Santangles are, Sandra, is where the wall's going. So I just check next time you're in. Message on my bottom. Oh, John. Just got the Case Dark Roll and the Hoffman Barley 5 inch charm pack. My she shed is full. I keep buying, but I'm. Oh no, and you've lost your sewing mojo. Right, when you get this home, when you get, when you get your 5 inch charm pack home, just sew it together. Just sew it together and make a lovely little lap quilt or a child's quilt or something like that. You'll soon get it back. It'll look incredible. Or a wall hanging, a bright wall hanging. Or oh, do you, like Fran said earlier, do ombre your colours and everything. Be gorgeous. So this one's called Rainbow Sweets, this one. There's more people got that in their baskets now than we've got stock of. And we had hundreds. Well done. Uh, now, uh, Anne says, I like walking in the wind, but my hair does not end up looking like a scarecrow. You and Hannah should get together. No, yours looks nice today. Yours all scraped up, isn't it, today? Oh, okay. No. Right, so that's Rainbow Sweets. Too many people got that in their baskets. Ambrosia, not the rice pudding. Pastels. Have I got one? No. I didn't even know what the question was, but the answer is no. Oh, yes. No. That's weird, because I don't think she did drop ship, does she? No. Oh, OK. 14.99. Old Teresa starts at four o'clock in the morning. That's why she's home now. Well, oh, no, you're getting, you, you start a little bit before I get up, Teresa. That must be tough, getting up that early in the morning. Mind you, I've seen the rota for next month. Nobody asked me. Oh, what's this? I bought them, John. I'm going to tangle. Oh, I have brought them. Hang on. I've brought them, John. I'm going to tangle on each one as a centrepiece and add to a quilt. Oh, don't know about the green room, but it's cold in there. Oh, yeah. Emma's sitting there on her own today. Freezing cold. Freezing cold. Uh, what was I saying before that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's some special treats coming up next, mu next month. Pardon? What about it? No, no, exactly, that's what I'm saying. I thought you were saying I wasn't supposed to say anything. I was like, well, I said it yesterday when Hayley was here. Yeah. I'll tell you how I found out in a minute. Beautiful. Oh, look at the time. One last question and then we'll go on. Could I use these fat? Yeah, hang on, who's that? June. June has just answered that question on here. Who asked it? Um, Susan asked that on here. Uh, yes, these are perfect for the confetti quilting from June in North, was that, where was June? North Yorkshire. North York, June, yes. 
They are perfect, perfect, perfect. In fact, she did use these yesterday, but in the 10 inch uh, charm pack. Beautiful. Now, I know I said I was going to do the Anna Maria fabric in this hour. I've run out of time. I'll put them in the 12 o'clock hour now. Oh! I've wondered what that was. Emma Bradford's just standing there looking through the window like that. That's her hint to say, hurry up. Bought both sets. Lost my mojo from a wet and blowy Gloucester in Don. Has everybody lost their sewing mojo at the moment? Oh, no, hang on. Sojo. Sojo, not mojo. Is, oh, I'm confused now. Do you call it mojo or so mojo? Sojo. So it's not your mojo, it's not the same as your mojo, then? No. Oh, it's not the same. Emma said, no, shh, it's not the same. I'll <laughs> shut up. Right, I need to go because Emma's ready to start. I'll, I'll check in the 12 o'clock hour, I'll check to see if any of these are left and I'll let you know. I, and with the um, uh, Cave 10 inch charm pack as well because they were so popular. Uh, er, Emma's coming up in the next hour doing this. Now she's not doing it in this colorway, she's doing it in that colorway, but this was hers from before, but that one's very similar, isn't it? We'll see you in four from now. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Just got a few questions to uh, answer here. Uh, yes, Carol, February is uh, our birthday month. Donna says, oh, right, Donna, I can't answer this because I don't know what it means, but Sandra Santangle's watching so we can ask her. Sandra Santangle, Donna said she purchased the Tangle quilt set. How does she get to the special Facebook group that you spoke about? That's for you, Sandra Santangle. Uh, Derek says, my sojo has re-emerged. Since Christmas, I've made a shirt, a satchel bag, and I've got four Adam Brooks snuggle-ups cut out to overlock together. Nicholas says, I bought both the barley, sna uh, bar barley pop charm packs to make Sally Ann's rainbow cushions. <gasps> oh, they look lovely, weren't they, Hannah? And but, but they're folded over. Oh. You know the one she does where she puts strips in them and just folds oh, them yeah, over yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Be nice. Right, I've got to first start this... Uh, hour got a picture to show you somebody who's made this quilt here it is <gasps> oh. good morning all looks to be a fabulous show today here's my star quilt that i bought from you before christmas i adore this quilt and it will be made again from carolyn oh, so carolyn really? is that is that this colorway uh can no. i have a look at carolyn's picture again it's oh yeah it's a different one different, different one different one but lovely like it is it's it's one of those if you've got a layer cake it will look stunning. Uh, any layer, any layer cake, because you, you can go yeah. traditional like this, mm -hmm. but if you did that cave one, we had to, okay, oh. get the 10th tent, the, the tent one from cave just said now. That would look beautiful as well. So what you need, you need a charm pack and you need a, a two and a half meters of a plain fabric then. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Right, okay, let's start with the bundles then. So your one here mm -hmm. is made out of this one it here, is. isn't it? Right, so this is the first bundle here. Let me just move these out of the way so Bruce can get a good picture. So. You get two and a half meters of your cream, or is it ivory? It might be ivory, this one, ivory. Right, so you get two and a half meters of that, plus you get the Moda flower pot, which I'll show, well, are you demoing in this one as well? Yeah. Yeah, I won't yeah. need to open this one because you'll see the fabrics of this one being demoed in the show. And your yeah, Emma's uh, instructions. So 73.99. Oh, it's it is ivory. Right, the finished size is... Oh, oh, there's two. Yeah, you get a bonus wall-hanging version. So you can either make a wall-hanging version, 32 by 32, or you can make the bed size 72 by 72. Now, 
Is the 32 by 32 the same size triangles or uh, half square triangles or is it are they smaller? They're smaller. So this is made from a layer cake. The right. smaller one is made from actual charm pack. Oh, so you can use those barley pops? Yeah. Oh, they'd be, right. Cause, Cause it can just be, it's just random, isn't mm -hmm. it? So we just had barley pop five oh, inch charm pack perfect. on. And we had them in the bright rainbow colors and we had it in ambrosia, which are, uh, but every single one is a different color. Oh, perfect. So you could just do it. It's, oh, it'd be beautiful. It be anyway, perfect. I'll talk more about that in a minute. This is the kit, right? For 73.99, uh, perfect. And that's what you're, you're gonna see this one being sewn together or made now, right? 73.99. We've also got it in this one here, which you get cream fabric with this one. Or is it lemon? Might even be lemon, this one. We'll double check for you now. Um, but look at this fabric. This is Kate's Garden Gate. Now we had this yesterday on its own. This is beautiful, this one. Again, it's very traditional. Look at the colors in here. Actually, this is the one that I thought was a bit like your yeah, original one there, isn't it? Yeah. It's, so you've got because yeah. you've got tealy blues you've got browns you've got lovely light blues mm -hmm. oh i love that color that's such a that period vintage is. color isn't it that one but then look at this look at this look at this <gasps> oh god it's like an american civil war sort yes of colors. yes that's exactly what i was yeah. thinking yeah and then you've got the lovely rusts in there the darker rusts they're brick red oh now are you doing this because of yesterday Yesterday in the show, we took we didn't take ten pounds off. But we took some money off this um, layer cake or ten. In, oh, it is layer cake, layer cake, right? So we're taking ten pounds off that one, just because we can. You get a, you get the whole lot. You get the two quilt kit patterns or the quilt and the the wall hanging. You get the ten inch layer cake and you get two and a half meters of your uh, cotton. Oh, it's vanilla. We haven't Ooh. had that for ages, and she said it right as well. Belina, 63.99 that one. Oh, that's, that's a good price. For a well, it's a good price, but if you just work out how much each yeah, of those yeah, things yeah. all cost, you know what I mean? Yeah. Brilliant. Right, yo, that's that one, that's that one. And then we've got this one here. Now, you've got the instructions. You've got two and a half meters of white with this one. And then you've got My Country, Kathy Schmidt's Studios. So this is going to give another completely different look because this is like your red, white and blue, Ooh, isn't it? A bit but, like French General. Yes, yes, exactly. But look at this, right? So within the fabric, there's actually a block oh. there made of oh, half square oh, triangles. Oh, perfect. So that's lovely, isn't it? So you've got the blues in there. Look, blues to blue. Oh, we're crashing on this one as well. Right, but then look, you've got beautiful stars in flowers. This one I think is very American. Mm -hmm. That one I thought was kind of heritage -y, and this one's very American, isn't it? Doesn't have to be American. No. But look, oh, 6399, can't do this on, we couldn't do this on the first one, but we are able to on these two. Then you've got your red stripes, your red blocks there, but they're not red, red. They're not, no, they're it's not lovely. red, white, and blue as in brashy and bright. No. It's those lovely, subtle colors there, mm -hmm. look. Gorgeous stripes there. I then like a we red, to, sorry. No, no. I look I love a red, white, and blue quilt anyway, because it's very can be very nautical. Oh yes, oh yes, definitely. There's nothing in it that, I mean it's not it hasn't got any flags in no. it. hasn't got oh. um, the only thing it's got in it in the script one, there's one with writing in it, and it's got a couple there you go. It's got liberty, proud, allegiance, but that's only in one fabric. And when yep. you cut that up and have it on an angle, nobody's gonna it's no. not and it's a lovely fabric look it looks like a lovely pattern there so you've got that one there the charming carpet ca carpenter star in that version 63.99 now i need to ask a quick question have i got any of the instructions on their own right yeah because right so if you've oh well i'll go i'll talk, have you got the two two of those as well can i have the two of those in a second as well right so here's the, inst here's the instructions on their own in here you get the instructions how to make the bed size one, which you use a 10 inch layer cake for. And you get the instructions for the wall hanging, which you use your five inch charm pack for. So here's the instructions on their own. These have been popular already, 9.99. Right, over half have gone on pre-order already. So what you need to do is if you want to make it in your own colorway, you need to buy two and a half meters of the color that you would like as your main background, which on ours, we've done cream and we've done uh, white and vanilla and ivory. Oh, 
Oh, hang on a second. We've got to... Oh, I'll do that in a second. Right. Oh, we're really putting everything together in these hours. <laughs> By the way, we've got loads and loads of lovely comments about your last oh, hour saying lovely. how Thank lovely you. it was to have like a masterclass. Mm -hmm. So this hour is the same. If you've got any questions or yeah, any yeah. pictures of your first quilt, do send them in. Do something. Right. So that's the instruction on the road. Right. Now, which one? I don't know what to do first. Cave, right, the Cave 10 inch charm pack, which, uh, layer cake, which is brand new today. Loads are already gone, but imagine if you made Ooh. this out of that. Now, what colour would you have as a background? That's what I'm just thinking. Right, let's what's, have a look at the fabric. What's in there? Beautiful, isn't it? Look. I th I'm thinking a nice royally blue. Royal blue. Oh, actually. Have I not? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. yes. Look. Oh. Oh. Well, I'll come to that in a minute. I'll come to that in a minute. I'm, I'm confusing you all now. <laughs> so this is just for the, the charm pack, the 10 inch layer cake, right? For cake, right? This is brand new today. We can't find this apart from one shot, one Etsy stall holder. We can only find this in one place. Oh my goodness, John, what are you doing to me today? The pattern's jumped into my basket now. Oh, well, I'll just have to stop ironing and make three projects before. There you go, Karen. You see. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So now imagine making that out of this. So now you need, well no, oh yeah, I'll, I'll talk about the quilt first of all. So for the quilt, you need two and a half meters of solid fabric. Now I haven't got bundles of two and a half meters because we didn't know we were gonna do this, make it up as you go along sort of thing. But I've got a black bundle here of three meters, which means you'd have enough of the quilt and, and for your binding. And you're saving two pounds. So that's literally, that. Uh, it's our black, it's our core fabric. So it's what we would tell you in a bundle. It's a four, uh, three meter bundle, this one, three meter bundle in the black. Right, wh what I'm thinking though, I'm gonna go off, off kilter again now, right? So this, if you buy the black and you want to make the wall hanging, right? Imagine if you did the wall Ooh. hanging with a black background with the barley hop. Look at that. So your fabric would be £20.74 and there'd be enough there. Oh, you making the wall hanging would be plenty there, wouldn't you? Have some left over oh, yeah, for the wall yeah, hanging, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Making the wall hanging, because this is the smaller version. All of your triangles would be your rainbow of colour. You've already bought the instructions. There's the instructions. This would make the smaller wall hanging, which is uh, 32 by 32 inches. And you'd have some black fabric left over. Or you, yeah, you'd have lots of black fabric left you over. You could use the backing as well. Oh no, you could do the backing, but how often do you need black fabric in your kit, in oh, your yeah. stash anyway? Yeah. Oh, that one's sold out. Let's try, should we try the Ambrosia? See what the Ambrosia one looked like. Sorry, Kat, that one's done. Right, here's the Ambrosia. Oh, now you see, I might not pick the black for the Ambrosia. I'm coming back to that in a minute. I'll come back to that in a minute. So, so that's black, right? Three meter bundle. That's from something else. I don't know what that's from, but that wasn't supposed to be in this hour. We had put together backing bundles on their own of four meters, but you know what? Let me just show you these. I'll just show, show you these. These are just random. Right, so the blue one's there. That, so this is the one that you would put with the cave, mm -hmm. with the cave fat quart, uh, not fat quart, the cave 10 inch charm pack. So this is 28.82 for your four, you're getting four meters in there. Mm? We are mixing and matching a bit, but it's exciting to do it like this, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's a four meter bundle there. But if you are gonna do it, if going off piste with things like, imagine how beautiful that's gonna look. Then you'd make the big one that's on the wall and you've got enough for your binding then as well. So that's that one. Now, for the wall hanging, you only need like a, a, a meter or so, don't you? So these are a bit big, but I mean, you always want them in your stash. What about this soft gray one? Because I'm thinking. Oh, yes. Ambrosia. So 28.32 is for your gray elephant bundle. How do you eat an elephant? Bite, bite, bite. bite, bite Still bite. don't understand it. <laughs> so, but then if you got the ambrosia, imagine making the wall hang with those lovely soft colours in there. It's 32 by 32, the wall hanging. Yeah, yeah, the quilt on the wall is 72 by 72 and you need the 10 inch charm pack for that. This is just if you're making the smaller one. 
Okay, I'm going to put that one away. And then we've also got another bundle of four meters for the, I don't know what color that is. Is that khaki or is it avocado? Look. Oh, moss. Moss. Oh. You see, that's unusual, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. you think of cave as bright colors, but that's yeah. quite a nice one. Right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, that's all, that's me taking you completely off piece there. I do apologize. So let's get back to the real. Instructions on their own have now sold out. I've got three, I'm gonna recap the three bundles. Sorry, Emma, oh, and then no, we no, can no, do. No, go for right. it. Gone a bit creative, so let's get back to the script now. <laughs> this is the first one here. Right, so this one you get Emma's instructions. Now remember the instructions aren't available on their own anymore. You get the instructions, you get two and a half meters of ivory, plus you get this 10 inch flower pot. Yeah, uh, this is one you're gonna see being uh, stitched and cut now. So I won't open that one up because you're gonna see all those fabric and it's hanging on the wall behind Emma. 73.99, 73 pounds for that bundle. We now have uh, this one here, which has got the vanilla background. This, the 10 pack, there's a reason there's a 10 pound saving on this. And I'll tell you, because Hayley yesterday took this down in price. Hayley and Hannah always, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, not fighting, not fighting, but. Compete. Compete. Competing, competing, yeah. And a lot of people think that Hannah is Hayley and Hayley is Hannah, so there's a lot of confusion there. So she won't get told off. So she's taken £10 off that bundle to get the instructions. Well, actually, so what we're going to say is you can get the instructions for free because they yeah. were 9 pounds weren't mm -hmm. they? So you get these for free if you think about it. And then you've got that lovely 10-inch layer cake charm pack there and you've got your two and a half metres of vanilla. And there's only 10 of those left now. You're loving that one. You're loving that one. And the what? Yeah, and then this one here, you've got your white two and a half meters, you've got your, char your instructions for your come to start, and you've then got your My Country uh, 10 inch layer cake there, 63.99. Yeah, yeah, if you're a beginner, buy one of the kits, buy one of the kits, and then you've got it all ready to go, haven't you? Now, I do have to tell you that the, um, these kits are for the front only. They're just for the front only. Um, yeah, you don't do the backing, you don't get the binding, it's the front only, but you do get about 10. 12. 12, you get 12 of the squares left over. So you, oh, actually, so you could use those 12 squares and cut those into oh. five inch squares. You could have a matching wall hanging to go with the... Possibly. Anyway, should yep. we get on with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gone very, are you all right temperature wise? Yeah, I'm all right now. Okay, fine. I did have a little hot moment last hour. No, no, oh, did you? Right, no, we're fine then, we're fine then. That's okay then. <laughs> right, okay, if you get hot, just tell me, because okay. it's okay. what it is like to be, have a menopausal show, eh? I'm talking <laughs> about myself now, not Emma. <laughs> What's the matter, Han? Oh, should we do some slides first? Sorry, oh, do yeah, some slides yeah, first, yeah. do some slides. We'll get on with the sewing, I promise you, you're not going to miss out on the sewing. Oh, so Hannah said to me, should we do some slides first? Yeah, oh, a bit later. Let's do some sewing then. Okay. Some do sewing. some sewing. She's not okay. quite ready. We'll show them though, don't worry. Okay. Right. So where do we start with this then? Start off first uh, by choosing, because you need 30 of your squares. Right. Choosing which squares you want to use in your quilt and which ones you want to save for other projects. Do we need to have so many light, so many dark, so many medium, or do you just choose your favourite, th or the, the 30 that you want? So why I, how I chose is I chose the darker ones, because invariably in your layer cakes you often get ones that would have a pattern on white, Right. which depending on the background you've got, won't necessarily show up. So if I put this against, well actually I've got some here. So this is my background colour, and right. this is one of the ones that I... So you, there is some contrast, but I chose the ones that had the most contrast. Really. Right, okay. So for instance, this one, you probably, I mean, there's a little bit, but you might not want to choose yeah, that yeah, one yeah. for this quilt. So but I, it's up to you. You yeah. can choose whichever ones you want to choose, basically. Because exactly. I was just thinking, on this one, if you've got that paler one mm -hmm. in the middle where you've got a complete square, oh. that might quite look, because you've got your plain creams and then the one and that might look. Yeah, yeah, but different, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Now, yeah. so you don't have to use all the dark ones if you don't no. want to. No, whenever I do a pattern, I always sort of say, this is my serving suggestion. Right. But absolutely do it how, how you want to do it and make it your own. Brilliant. What's your angel policy, by the way? Nobody's asked yet, but like, do you mind people making your quilts to sell them? 
or do you rather oh, oh do you, have you not even thought about it no, no okay so mind. i'll tell you what other designers do other designers oh, okay. say i don't mind them being made for uh family friends charities raise money for church or anything like that but i don't want you having a stall selling or you know like 500 of them or something like that other people say you can make up to so many and then after that but people ask not to pass the pattern on and if they make it and sell it, just to give you a nod to say it's a swift quilting design. Yeah. So basically they can make for, to make money, but not John Lewis is making a thousand and selling them up, no. like that kind of thing. Yeah, no. Okay, yeah. perfect. That's yeah. why, yeah. because people, people always, uh, you know, kind of, because I noticed, oh, I did notice this week. You know, when I, when I do the embroidery machine and I say, whatever you do, do not sell the ones with Disney. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Someone's been caught. Oh. Someone's been caught, and I don't think it's not anyone that's but none of nobody's bought it from us. Nobody's bought it from us. It was on my Yahoo thing, oh. you know, like when you sign into Yahoo and all the news comes up about what Prince has said this and who's done yeah. that and what yeah. soap stars done this and everything. Well, it was on there, and it was all about Dis and it was a Disney one as well. And they got mm. caught, they've got caught doing it. So please, please, please be careful, yeah. right? Yeah, not this Disney anything to do with this, but no, but yeah. right, okay. So, so we've got so we've chosen the 30 that we like. Those that you like. Yeah. Of those 30, you then have to choose four which you want to have in the, which are going to stay as squares, which you have in the corner. So those right. ones that. So these, yeah. these, these yeah. four here. Those ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And put those aside for now. Righty ho. And then the rest. So you, you have a certain number of squares of the background that you cut same size as your layer cake. Yeah. And then I tend to do this marking on the background squares rather than right. the layer so, squares. So just going but back to, if they missed that uh, nine o'clock hour, mm -hmm. you've got your two and a half meters of your background fabric. Yeah. You'd fold it like you did, and then you'd cut strips of, are they 10, 10 inch, whatever size they are? Yeah. And then you subcut it in squares so that the, you've got all of those squares ready to go with your charm pack squares. Yeah. yeah. And I know I, I normally uh, demonstrate all that, but when I was prepping, I have to be honest, I got a bit carried away. And you cut them all out? I cut them all out and then I'm like, oh. Okay, that's no fine, that's fine. <laughs> so as long as we say that's, the, yeah, that's, where, the, that's how we yeah. got to this stage. Yeah. But it's exactly the same. So cut it with the fabric and then cut them down. You'll get four um, squares per strip. Right, of course, with yeah. With the fabric. Yeah. And then what's that you use in there then? So this is, I don't know the proper name for it. I think we call it, a, do we call it a seam guide? It always throws us, doesn't it, when we yeah. get this one out of, uh, out of, put on the show. But it's a perfect size. You can use a normal ruler. I find this one quite easy. Yeah. Uh, because it's less unwieldy than having a massive ruler. <clears throat> but uh, the way that I like to do my half inch triangles is that I mark a quarter of an inch uh, line. I mean, I draw a line, get my, yeah. get my teeth in. <laughs> draw a line a quarter of an inch from the center. Right. And this uh, little ruler is exactly half an inch wide. Right. So it's perfect. So what I'm doing is I'm lining up the center with each corner diagonally right. of my square. And then I can just mark with a friction pen or, oh, then I should be using my mat. I'm using a friction pen, which. Would it fit into that mat? Um, Might be I think it does. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll check it. I'll yeah, yeah, check yeah. it. But you can do it with a pencil as well. That's where the mat really comes yeah. into its own. So what we normally do before the seam guide came along, we'd normally draw a line down right down the, the middle center. and sew a quarter of an inch either side of that line. Yes. But this way, we're actually drawing in the lines that we're going to stitch on. on. So if yes. you are beginners, because we're saying this is like a beginner one, you've actually got a line of stitching to follow. To You're follow. not having to go, oh, I've got to stay a quarter of an inch away from that line. You're actually stitching dead on the line. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. It isn't quite long enough. No. But I do love the, these mats and, and especially the grippy sandpaper yeah. for exactly this purpose. It would be perfect for the wall hanging. Oh yes, yes, doing, yes, for the smaller ones, the yes. five inch squares ones, yeah. And then you just use a pencil, which is really nice uh, because everybody's got a pencil. And then you just draw your, your lines in a quarter of an inch. From There's side. the mat, 23.99. Yeah. That's that, the one with the sloth on it, by the way. Yeah, I love these mats. Like, it keeps your fabric from slipping. So if I... I would only not do it on a sandpaper if I'm using a friction pen. Okay. Because it doesn't drag as much. 
Oh, okay. Or if so you've got a pencil, it drags your fabric a bit and it, it may move it. Yeah. Whereas it's, if it's on the sandpaper, it's not it, gonna it grips it. it and it keeps it. Oh, Carol it says, my son bought me the cutting ironing mat for Christmas. Ooh. He was mortified that he had bought me an ironing board. I love it from Carol <laughs> and crew. That's it, isn't it? We say, don't, don't be buying me an iron. Don't be buying me an ironing board. But then you see something like, you go, oh, you can buy me that iron. You can buy me yeah. that, you know. No wonder they're confused. Right. So now you've got your two squares. Yep, two squares, lay them up. And you will find, so with this particular layer cake, you'll, if I put it down, you might, you might be able to see. Yeah. So my background square, obviously I've cut, and I know that it's accurate. The one underneath, because they cut so many at once, it may not be exactly 10 inches. It may be a little bit bigger. Oh, I always wondered why they, when we, we get five inch and 10 inch, but some of them say laser cut, and some don't say that because the laser cut ones are the ones that are exactly the right size, aren't they? Whereas the ones that you're saying that are cut hundreds at a time might yeah. be slightly off, yeah. Yeah. So don't worry. Don't panic if yeah. that happens because we're going to trim them all up afterwards oh, okay. anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, but just sort of lay your, your background square on top, making sure that everything is covered as best you can. Mm -hmm. um, and then just pin it. I'm just pinning it just so it stays in place. And then I'm going to sew directly on top of those lines. Okay. Oh, let me just change my foot. I thought I did that earlier. You've had an hour. I know, I know. What am I like? Oh, while she's changing the foot, got some pictures. Hannah's ready now with Ooh, some pictures. Good. Well, I'm getting a bit warm now as well. Are you getting warm? Yeah. Yeah. Just press the button for me. Oof. Right. Oh my word! That's like wow. my hall in Twickenham, the ha house in Twickenham. Good morning, John, Emma, and all the team. I've attached a picture of my first ever quilt I <gasps> made five years ago. More than happy for you to show it. It was my own design, and although nowhere near perfect, still holds a special place in my heart. Patchworking and quilting is still my passion. Love all your programs and inspiration. Love your idea, John, of a door quilt curtain. Another project oh. for my list. Keep up the good work. Love and hugs, Tracy in Falkirk. Tracy, that's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. So, on your first ever quilt, you've done a nine patch, you've done a square in a square, you've done flying geese, you've done like a friendship star. There's all mm -hmm. sorts going yeah, on in yeah, there, yeah, isn't yeah. there? It's brilliant. I love the gorgeous. colours as well. It is really nice. Yeah. Gorgeous. It's beautiful. Stunning. Oh, now I've got a question, um, answer from Chris, the ambassador of Santangle. John, I've put a link to the new Santangle group on the Sewing Street fans group. To get in, they will need to code that came with the quilt. Right, so who was that that then messaged me a minute ago? Donna. Donna, go to our Facebook fan page and your quilt the kit that you bought from us should have a, a, a code on it. You need to qu quote that code. Brilliant. Uh, Margaret's loving the quilts this morning. Um, Sue's worked with Disney and they ruthlessly protect their copyrights. There you go. Uh, I bought both the barley... Uh, oh, I've done that one, Nicola. I've done yours. Oh. What, what, what? Oh, picture from Christine. Ooh. Oh, another yeah. lovely one. Look, Beautiful. this is my fir first quilt. This is my first quilt made from St. Street's Block of the Week during oh, COVID. I missed a couple lovely. of blocks, but made them up from leftovers, along with a scrappy binding, all tips from the programme from Christine. Oh, that's lovely. So is that, was that a Rebecca Reed Block of the Month, do you think? Oh, OK, nice, beautiful. Yeah. Right, you go. I do love a, a sampler to start off with. Yeah, oh yes, because then you can see what you like and what you don't yeah, like. And if you don't like techniques. enough, do it again, do you? No, but you've at least done it once and you've yeah. got it under your belt. Well, yeah, but also, if, uh, like, if, you, if you start off on a quilt and think, do all the blocks the same and you hate doing the block, <gasps> yes. you've then got to make 20 or 19 more, haven't you? Whereas that way you go, I love doing this one, I'll put that in another quilt, but I'm never doing this one again. But as you say, I've done it and that's it, I'm not that's doing it. this again. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, also, right. Yeah, and it also keeps it fresh, so you're doing a different thing each time. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, so what just, are you doing now? You're just sewing along? Just sewing directly on top of the line. Yeah. So I've done one side, and then I would just chain stitch all of them, doing that. And then, once I get through all of them once, then I just flip them around. Lovely. Uh, a few of you asked about the pink rotating cutting mat. We're waiting for them to come back into stock. We haven't got them in stock at the moment. Message on the bottom. Uh, morning both. I morning. bit the bullet and bought my first quilt project. Yay! This is to do to keep me busy when we move to France in February. <gasps> oh, it's Trisha! Trisha! France in February! Oh, oh, lovely. Trisha. Oh, lovely. What part of, you have to say, what part of France? Yeah, what part are you going to, Trisha? What part are you going to? Hannah says she hopes it's champagne. Mm-hmm. 
And then this next part, you can either cut it with scissors, yep. which I often do because uh -huh. it's easy. I can just sit and just do yep. them. Or you can use your ruler, ruler and cutting mat. And then you literally just cut directly in the middle. And with your ruler, it's really easy. Right. So just do a quarter of an inch. Be even easier with this ruler. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't, no, no, don't <laughs> worry, don't worry. I'm just saying. Go. Right. And then we press them out. So again, you're just pressing the seam, setting the seam, and then is it not on? It's on. Yeah, press them to set oh, the seam. You have to wait now. Yeah. Do you want me to move it over? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So it only takes well, seconds to um to heat up. up. We've well, got some photos while we're waiting for the iron Ooh. to heat up. Morning, John. Loving the show. Nearly finished my first quilt. It already has Willow's approval. It's a June Taylor quilt you go using K-Facet fabrics. Oh, 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 look at Willow. Oh, which, which June Taylor's that one then? Is it? I can't see. I can't. It's lovely. I love the colour. It's beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? Aww. Oh, there, it's on the big telly there. Thanks, yeah. Bruce. Oh, lovely. Nice. Nice, nice. Thank you for that, Claire. Right, so, so the iron's hot. The iron's hot. Yep, so I'm just pressing my, <coughs> pardon me, pressing my seam to set my stitches. Yeah. And then open it up and just gently. Right, now because that seam's on a bias, this way I have to be even more careful, isn't yes. it? Oh, where's she going? We're going to De Sèvres. That's a two something. Oh, hang on. In Poitou Charente. Ooh, lots of sunflower fields around. Did you go yeah. on escape to the country? No, what's the one that Jasmine does? And they look at five houses. Place in the sun, because the they do a lot in France, don't they? Mm -hmm. Bonjour. Oh, how lovely. And you're going there forever. <gasps> <laughs> oh, I say that. My mum and dad moved there, and my mum came back. Oh, did, <laughs> did she hate it? No. Oh, no, she, she, she didn't hate it. She didn't hate it. No, no, no. It was, it was really nice. Yeah. Um, it's just that she was there on her own. Cause, oh, yeah. Okay. But yeah. So then. Right, okay. So now we need a square ruler, do we? We need a square ruler. So I, I really like this 12 right. and a half inch square because this is probably my second one that I ever bought. Right. So you're six and a half by 24 and a half. That we had to the, yeah. Yes. And then your next one, if you want to upgrade. Uh, I would definitely recommend the 12 and a half inch square because it's so useful for this part squaring up. Lovely. Now, uh, I always use it because I'm doing this way. What's nice is you've got a nice um, 45 degree line through the middle. So you can line that up with your seam and then so make sure that it's nice and square and then trim them. So the first trimming, you're literally just putting the line straight down the diagonal centre and then yeah. just taking the slightest bit off each edges just to make sure they're... So we're not trimming it down, down to a certain size. You're no. literally just making it neat. Just making it neat. Yeah. And again, and it will depend on how the layer cake is cut to some degree. Yeah. Because that's the part that mostly you're trimming off. So you'll see it. There's a bit more to trim off this way. Yeah. There we go. But there won't be much. So it's literally... Yeah. threads there we go and Definitely. I've got some more so these do that to everything right it's actually a relatively quick quilt to put together so it's one of those it's always nice to have in your arsenal yeah so if you've got a wedding coming up or a birthday or something you need to gift something it's a really easy one to do in a fantastic, hurry fantastic yep you always get surprises let me just trim up what colour have I got <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to put the, just the ruler graphics through for you, the 12 inch, 12 and a half inch ruler. <coughs> it's going to trim up a couple more so we can then put together the next okay. row that we would do. Oh, so now you're going to have two of each, each colour, aren't you? So that'll yep. be the same in the wall hanging. So even though yep. you've only got one of each colour, you're going to end up with two triangles of each colour. Yes. So what I did to make this up is that I've taken half of them, every one, to make this half. 
Oh, so I've got the other half see, so them. what you've then done is when you've made them, you've taken, split them in two, into two piles, yep. and you've put all of those ones in that pile, exactly the same ones in that pile, and only use those to make this half. Yes. So now, when you make the second half, will you echo that, or will you random? I will random. Right. I mean, you can echo. Um, but I will probably random. You maybe some that are a bit echoed. But yeah, yeah. yeah but I'm sure that's that's all random. Yeah, yes, it is definitely. Yeah, and that's where it comes in handy to, um, like we were talking about in the last hour, take a picture. And, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, definitely, definitely. Take a picture one to so that you've got a record of where everything is for your final, <coughs> uh, but then also just to see if you, which layout you like best. Yeah. So those are the half square triangles. Right. And then you have also got some background squares and some regular, some charm squares that you okay. need to trim down. Oh, so some, we've got, oh yes, we've got plain cream squares as well, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna be cheeky and just do them all at once. Okay. Hopefully it'll work. Yeah, but as a beginner, D uh, don't necessarily do this, do them no. individually, so individually, you know you're getting it right, yeah. or at twos at the most, because if you well if you make a mistake the more you've got then it'll be a exactly now a we haven't got a diagonal seam on this one so how do you how do you get this one to lie straight i just sort of measure so keeping it inside so that i've got some to trim yeah but then keeping them what i've got to trim around the edge relatively even so that it, it keeps it quite square yeah you can also use the lines outside of your measurement as well, just to see is my are my squares sort of lining up with one of the lines on the on the ruler. You just want to keep it quite as square as possible because if you cut them skewy, you'll have you'll find that they shed more, so they'll there'll be threads sort of cut oh, on okay. an angle, yeah, yeah, yeah. like almost not quite a bias, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it won't be the end of the world if you do cut, uh, cut it a bit skewy because you've got plenty to cut down, but try and keep it as square as possible. Yeah. That one, it looks like you've got more to cut off that one. Yeah. There we go. So That's those are all down to size. And then it's just a matter of laying out so our next one will be so so it's the other it's the other one from here yeah yeah so if we did that you would have like that and then another one message on the bottom morning john loving the show and as a complete beginner i'm finding the hints and tips morning. brilliant i need that half inch ruler yes jackie you do yes remember you get the 50 we've got it in eight inches or nine inch well but get the 15 inch ones better yeah because you'll be able to do a charm size and a layer cake and this one fits really nicely across diagonally a layer cake yes exactly yeah layer yeah because the shorter one wouldn't there's only five of those rulers left jackie if you want one right so you now have to r r line up a row do we Yes. So Maybe. the first one will be a cream at the top. Where's the seam? There. I'm trying to. I'll let yeah. you do it. I'll let yeah, you do it. I'm trying to randomise as well as I go. Let me trim this one. Okay. Kate's Garden Bundle has now sold out. What I also like about a layer cake is that one, there's to some degree they're pre cut. Yeah. Which is nice. But also, you get a really nice selection of lots of different fabrics. Oh, yeah, exactly. And you know they're all going to go together as well. It's all not, gonna you're go not going to put the quilt together and go, oh, I wish I'd put that red one in there. That match, uh, yes. Right, so what graphics have you got in now, Han? The one we're demoing is in the graphics now. that one yeah and then that will be you confused <laughs> confused 
confused.com. No, it gets good. Which end go. are you starting from? You started from this end here. So the first one you want is one with the cream at the top. Yeah. Is that the Oh no, hang on, is that the same as oh, this one? No, that's no, right. Not. That's okay. right. That is, I think that's right. No, you want yeah, you want one with the cream at the bottom on this one, look, because you're making a flying yeah. geese, aren't you there? Yeah, I think that's right. All right. You sure? Yeah. Okay, so what's the next one then? Then the next one, let me see, so be here, so there'll be one. Oh, you're going from this one or that one? I'm looking at this row. Right, okay. So the next one over will be part of the, this bit, this equivalent of this. <laughs> oh no, this bit. <laughs> this is why you lay it out on the bed, everybody. Yes, this is why you put it out on the bed. So then it will be like that. Right. She and says. the next one needs to go here. Yeah. Let me see what else I've got there. All oh, right, now this is where we have to answer the question about oh, yeah. the lady said in the first hour, wasn't it? About how do you put together, oh, put together a bigger yes. quilt? Yeah. So think of it, when you put together a quilt, think of it as a, it's just a bigger block. Right. So however you put your blocks together, so it's usually you start with the smaller units, so the smaller units together, and then eventually you increase to a block size. So I tend to do them in strips. So if it's a nine patch or whatever, yeah. so I'll, I'll sew my strips and then sew my strips together. It's exactly the same thing with a quilt. So I would sew all my blocks together in strips, usually horizontally. You can do vertically as well, it doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, and then sew those strips together to increase the size. And when I'm sewing the strips together, um, I would do them in pairs. So I would sew these two together Right. These two together. Right. And then sew them together again as a pair yes. in the middle. So like when you're doing a bargello or something like that, you sew two together, two together, two together, and then you sew, take the first unit of two and turn, sew them to the second unit of yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. Do it that way. So that yeah. your final seam will usually be your very center seam. Yes. And yeah. the reason for that is because it's easier um, if the pieces that you're, even though they're quite big, the pieces that you're sewing together are essentially the same size. Oh yes, 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 yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah, because otherwise, <coughs> if you just go down, 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 by the time row, you get to the row. tenth row, you've got nine going that way and, and one, one on the top, haven't you? Whereas if you do it your way, you've always got them even, even. Stevens. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which, whichever way works best for you, that's just the way that I do it. Yeah. Uh, if you've got a, a big table, it, it doesn't, you don't matter, and you'd rather just see them in, grow incrementally than do it one row at a time, adding to the side, but. You know. So you know the table that we see you work on on your Facebook Live? Yeah. Is that your workroom table? That's my dining room table. <coughs> so you've got another room with a bigger table somewhere? No. Oh. I, I have, in my sewing room, I have a, one of those horn cabinets. Oh, okay. So right. it's literally, it's probably smaller than my mm. table. Mm. Um, but I'm just thinking about when, where you, when you lay it out at home, yeah. where do you lay it out? Well, I do. So <coughs> I've been working on a quilt the last couple of days for my 20, the, my show on the 21st. Right. Which I'm getting to the point now where I'm, I am sewing the rows. And uh, what I do, so I'm on the dining room table and I can either add a leaf, which I haven't done because I'm a bit lazy. Okay. So what I do is um, I've actually got my quilt draped over a chair to take the weight and do it that way. Right. So you, as long as you've got your quilt sort of draped on something to take the weight yeah. because when you're sewing it it will hang down and you don't want it pulling yeah it out the, yeah out, and it's, it just you have to it's a pain to wrestle with okay so, so where do you have your, where do you have your evening meal then where does mikey sit to have his evening meal <laughs> it depends if the kids are home we eat at the table oh so, so you have to clear everything yeah but it's not bad i've actually i've over the christmas break i've actually been sorting it out so i've actually got a spot on my shelving in my living room for my extra, even though it should be upstairs. Uh, so hang on, you got a room upstairs with everything on top of wardrobes and wardrobes. You so in the dining room, and now you started put, keeping your stash in the living room as well. Yeah, but to be fair, <coughs> we um, agree we've got a big bookcase, we've got the telly, and then so most of it, I'd say 75% of it, is Michael's DVDs and oh, okay. games and things like yeah. that. And then I have got a bookcase with my quilts, my finished quilts, and I've also I've made a little nook to put my sewing machine in so I can take it off the table and put it away. In the lounge, though? In the lounge. <laughs> got a message on the bottom. Uh, new to patchwork, and I'm not brave enough to cut out multiple pieces yet. Oh. <clears throat> I'm now cutting out a cave quilt piece by piece. Emma's tips are much appreciated from Sue oh, in Gloucestershire. You. You're welcome. Yes, no, it's definitely cut to your your com your comfortable zone. Yeah, yeah. Way. 
however you are. But then so every now and then you need to just stretch it because otherwise you'll never move on, as it were. No. <clears throat> but I also think it's nice to do a show like this every now and then because we often presume People know that we oh do this do this do this and we move along which uh, which is fine sometimes but mm -hmm. no it's nice every now and then just to go back to basics because there are people yeah, who've yeah, bought yeah. quilt kits and never made one yeah, and uh, half inch seam ruler ordered and oops oh, something else fell into my basket oh jackie oh, what did you get what is it do tell that that's now sold out jackie must have got the last one of those that's now sold out i think i is this did i trim this one i think i did trim this one so this one would go then so it's it's da, 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 so it's like um, this. Do you worry about direction? I haven't for this one yeah. at all because I know there's some stripes in there, but it's one of those things that they're going to go whichever way they go. Yes. Um, where I take into account is when I take that picture and I have a look. Maybe have I got too many stripes going in one corner? In one oh, 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 stripes in one direction. In one corner, in one corner or corner. going in one direction because these actually the the ones that have white words on them which is it's all words that yeah. kind of reads the stripe as well and this yes. one obviously reads as a stripe yeah so yeah take a picture and i'll have a look and distance to you maybe look through the window like Stuart, Stuart does. does yeah <laughs> yeah and just see because even though up close you can tell it's a stripe or or words from a distance it reads. i didn't realize that one was words actually for yeah. me so it reads differently so that's what i do so that's what i'm kind of trying to mix patterns yes, and yeah. colors yeah so i don't have all of the geometric ones together no no no. and again lay it out on a double bed before you start yeah. because the worst thing is if you get to the, you do all your rows and then you suddenly get to the bottom and you suddenly think oh i've got four green stripes all together here yeah and you've got to then and that's the only trouble with random random isn't it, it is. sometimes four of the same can come out can't they and then yeah. you kind of don't want that to happen yeah i always lay them out on my living room floor Okay. Yeah, and uh, at the moment it's a bit difficult because we've got a new kitten, oh. and she is one of those that likes to. Oh really? Pounce into it, and then yeah. they go everywhere. Um, but yeah, I have. I think my the, my Norman and Ellie would have done that. These two yeah. are like like when I put the Christmas tree up, everyone's like, oh, it could be a nightmare, and they just mm -hmm. walked into the lounge and they went, oh, oh, and just wandered <laughs> off. They didn't even weren't bothered by it at all. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yes, the Mitchell brothers have bullied me out my own bed to my oh, own house. Yeah. Well, last night I had to sit on a little chair to eat. I, I ate my t t in front of the telly, right? Which I know you shouldn't do. But yeah. I went in and Luther was like this on the sofa. And there was no... Re so I sat on the end like this going... Uh, so I <laughs> anyway, that's by the way. Yeah, no, that's what Mikey does as well. He gets bullied out of his chair. Oh, does he? Yeah. It's yeah. weird. It's weird what we do because really we should just go, they're not going to just get out of my chair. Yeah. But I have to say, Luther last night was in the kitchen doing washing up and I thought, I don't recognise that noise. What's that noise? And I've got this really big, like, throne chair, which is like a gorgeous velvet oh, yeah, and everything. And he was only scratching the side oh, of the. Oh, oh, he got, no, he got oh. so shouted at. He went out through that cat flap faster than you'd know. Yeah. Right, okay. So, what else do we need to talk about on here then? So, once you've sort of laid out how you want, <clears throat> I still do my same. Take a picture. Yeah. Definitely take a picture so you know what your layout is. And then I do my same trick where I will lay this one over this one. Because I know oh, that yeah, has yeah, to yeah. be sewn. <clears throat> Put a little pin. This one over this one. And then sew pairs together. And then um, once those are... Oh, that's not a pin. Hmm. Laid out again. I might, And then do the same thing. Um, I haven't... I don't press. I haven't... Well, recently... I haven't been pressing as I go when right. I get to this part of sewing the strips. So what I'll do is I'll sew all my strips together without pressing. And then when I come to sew my strips together, that's when I press and then I'll press all my seams from, say for this strip, yeah. I'll press all my seams going one direction. The next one I'll press going the opposite direction right. and then I'll sew those together and do the same going down. So you've pressed them <coughs> when you've made them into half square triangles. So yeah. the, that, the diagonal seam is pressed and everything, yes. but you don't press the actual, when you've sewed that one and that one together and that one and that one together, you haven't individually pressed them no. until they're all in a row together. Yeah. But you have to do it before you sew it to the next row. Yes. Because otherwise you won't be able to get in there to get that flat, Nesting. will you? Yeah. And the reason I've been waiting to press them in opposite directions until I come to sewing is again because I don't like to think ahead right, okay <laughs> because very often I will press them and then I'll come to put them together I'm like oh well that's oh. going the wrong way oh, or oh. I laid it down the wrong way and now it's the road yeah. is, this it's all going the wrong way so I only press that 
till the very last minute. Of course, yeah. And then I know it's going yeah, to be correct. Yeah, because I, um, when I'm doing something like this, I have my sewing machine on my dining room table and never mm -hmm. bring the ironing board downstairs. So I'm running up and down. Oh, that's like good step. Gives you half, steps in. Yeah, your steps in. But every half square triangle, you're running up and down the stairs yeah. to press it. And I should just bring the ironing board downstairs. Really. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So I'll continue with this. You, you continue. I'll do a round because we're nearly uh, out of time. Oh, wow. The one that we're working with is this one here, which is your charming carpenter square uh, instructions, your 10 inch layer cake and your two and a half meters of your ivory, ivory, 73.99. Uh, I remember in there, there are instructions for two things. There's this one as a wall hanging 32 by 32 and a bed size 72 by 72. They're inches, by the way. 73.99. Okay, yeah, the one on the wall, this one here is the bed. This is the big one. This is the 72 by 72. Obviously, the wall hanging is half the size. And you use your five inch squares for that rather than your 10 inch squares. Okay, so that's that one. Then I've got this one here in the uh, My Country, where you get two and a half meters of white, you get the 10 inch layer cake, and you've got that. And this one's got a 10 pound saving. The other one with the 10 pound saving as a kit has sold out. Uh, my gang don't normally bother while I'm cutting out poly cotton fabric on the floor, but yesterday when I was cutting out the super soft fleece for the snuggle ups, it was a nightmare. They oh. loved the fabric. He took Derek to his cats. Uh, thanks for putting together the tips, Emma. Thanks, John, for oh, calling yeah. me a lady. Oh, did I? <laughs> that was an accident. Right, okay, so this one here's got you £10 off as well. Now, if you want the 10-inch charm packs on their own, yeah. Right, that's this one here. Now, the kit has sold out. The kit has sold out, but you can still buy the 10-inch layer cake on its own, charm pack on, oh, it's a layer cake on its own. Forty-seven ninety-nine. Oh, yeah, crashing. After she's pressed the button, look at forty pounds and forty-nine pence. That's just the ten-inch uh, layer cake charm pack for Kate's Garden Gate, eighteen thirty to eighteen sixty, Franco-Prussian War. History A level. I oh, know. I did it because I did history O level and I did all about social economic history in Britain and everything oh, and loved it. Nice. Then went through the A level. It was completely different. So nobody oh. said, and oh. it was horrible. I hated it. Oh. Anyway, forty pounds and forty nine pence for that uh, layer cake on its own. Then we've got the uh, which one do you want to do next? My country next. That's this one. Has he fixed you? What's it then, Bruce? Have you got a monitor now? Oh, brilliant. Forty seven ninety nine. Gorgeous. Crash. It's more than 10% off this, 40 pounds and 49 pence. Beautiful. And then last but not least, I've got the Moda flower pot. This one will not be crashing. Lovely. Now, big question to Hannah. How am I doing with the 10 inch brand new cave? Let's have a quick look. This is brand new today. We're having trouble finding it for sale anywhere else in the UK at the moment, apart from one little shop on Etsy. 44.99. Now it should be 47.99 because it's new, it's brand new. And there's no logic behind that. No logic behind that. Right, there's lots and lots and lots in baskets. I'm doing, gonna say now, <coughs> excuse me, check out, check out, check out, because you're gonna miss out. There's gonna, it's gonna come to the stage soon where you're gonna miss out. There's loads of you got that in your basket. Gorgeous. Now, the five inch uh, charm pack from earlier, the, the rainbow sweets are sold out. I've got ambrosia, and that's it then. Isn't it, Han? Just got Ambrosia, which are the pastel tones. There's 20 of those left. And we had hundreds of them. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. 
14.99. Now remember we've crashed it, so at midnight if there are any left, they go back up to 16.99. Beautiful. Right, Emma, when are you next then? Um, the 21st. 21st of? January. Oh, you're doing Sorry. a lot, aren't you? I know, I've done, yeah, since yeah. I've been mean, like almost every week. Oh, we'll see you yeah. then, then. Oh, uh, can I just say one more thing? Yeah, of course you can. Before, um, so for the new quilters, anybody new quilters, yeah, yeah, yeah. two things to remember. One, there's no such thing as a quilt police. Right. There's no right or wrong way to do something, only the way that works for you. Yeah. And two, I know that a lot of people have sent in, I said, oh, it's not perfect. Never ever point out your mistakes because literally you are the only person that's going to see them. If you point them out, everybody will focus on them, but yeah. nobody else will see your mistakes. Just, just, just keep them to yourself. But also and it's handmade. And I yes. don't think, uh, yeah, yeah, we might think it's a mistake, but actually it's a handmade piece of art or whatever, comfort or whatever. It doesn't matter if points don't matter. I mean, no. Janet Clare goes, I never check my points. You know what no. I mean? She's not, she just, well, no. if people are going to look at my points, they can just, you know. The, all the quotes that have been sent in are absolutely stunning. Yeah. And you may see that point that isn't quite matched or, or got cut off, but nobody else will see it. And yeah. it will just be a very beautiful, stunning quilt. Exactly. So, and also, yeah. I'm sure if you looked at all of the uh, quilts of history, Oh, There'll yes. be hundreds that don't yeah. match and things yeah. like that. It's, it's just a thing we put upon ourselves, it isn't is. it? Thinking it has to be perfect, but, but it yeah. doesn't. No. Well, no. it is. It's perfect, but it's only you, that, like like Emma says, it's only you yeah. that knows you're, that You're your so. hardest critic. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Brilliant. There's just some wadding okay. going through uh, the graphics at the moment, but um, I'll be back in four minutes time. Uh, well, I don't quite know what I've got now because it was supposed to be tools, but there's loads in the next hour. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice. I'll see you in four minutes from now. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
Follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of Sewing Street, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Got tools? Well, I say tools. We're supposed to have a tools there now. We've got all sorts of goodies for you this hour. So sit down. I hope you've got a cup of tea. Got your, um, I don't know, what was this? I was going to say remote. No, because that means you switch over if you've got your remote, doesn't it? Your app. Tap the app to buy something. Tap the app. Right, let's start with this thing because it's been very, very popular today. It is, we're calling it a beginner set, but actually it's not a beginner set, is it? It's something that if you go away for the weekend or if you go to classes and things like that, this is ideal. You get a 45 millimeter rotary cutter, you get a 12 by six ruler and you get a self-healing cutting mat. It's not a creative grid ruler, I'll show you now. There you go. So you, I think they're all quilted bare, aren't they? They're all quilted bare. So you get the rotary cutter, 
45 millimeter you get the 12 by 6 ruler and you get the cutting mat here which has got inches on one side and centimeters on the other all of that you get all three of those <coughs> excuse me for 19 pounds and 99 pence i know brilliant 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 very very popular today that as well beautiful make sure you check out make sure you check out make sure you check out Right, creative grid rulers now. You, Emma used this one earlier. This is the 26 and a half, 24 and a half by 6 and a half inch one. So, like I said earlier, you've got your increments in black and white on there. So you can see no matter what colour fabric you've got on it, you've got a quarter inch seam allowance on this side, a half inch seam allowance on that side. The white numbers, if you follow the white numbers, they're your solid numbers. And then if you follow the black circles, they're your half inch ones. And on the other side, uh, well, you can't see them so much there. Oh, yes, you can. There they are. Um, you've got the silicon grips. So it's like a patented grip so that when, when you put it on your fabric, it moves around like that. But as soon as you put your hand down to cut, it grips to the fabric. It doesn't make it sticky it's not glue or anything like that i don't know quite what it is but uh that's a great starter kit to take to a class exactly julie vaughan thank you very much indeed 28.99 this ruler now i know you're thinking well it's a lot of money for a ruler but believe me believe me believe me it's well worth the investment because creative grids are renowned all our designers all of our um demonstrators all use these they've all got these and everything and they last and last and last as long as course, if you tread on it and bend it then it's obviously going to break but you know what i mean uh, this size is brilliant because if you fold your fabric in half, you can do a width of fabric straight away with it. If your fabric's 44 inches wide. Then you've got 60 degree line, 45 degree line on there. And you did what? Okay, 29, uh, 20, uh, that's not a story I'm going to repeat. Uh, 28 99 Look after them and they'll look after you. And they've got the QR code if you want to have a go and look at the Creative Grids website, see some videos of them being used. Or you can just go on to, if you just Google it, you'll find videos all over the place of all the different rulers. So that's there is the one that everybody says they buy first. Yep, this one here, which is your six and a half by 12 and a half. Now this one is the Creative Grids, right? The one in the starter pack was not Creative Grids. This is the equivalent from Creative Grids, 23.99. Again, you've got the quarter inch on one side, the half inch on the other. You've got the solid increments in the white along here and the dark increments are halves. Mind you, you've got the white halves in the middle there. You've got your 45 degrees, so you can do your squaring up with it. You've got your 30 degree on here. Uh, and you've got again the little dots on, uh, on the side there this is perfect for if you're doing half square triangles or trimming off or anything like that where you don't want to have the great big 24 inches you just want the 12 and a half inches there um, and it's a really really good size uh, it's made of a really really I can't remember what the thickness of the acrylic is but you can run your rotary cutters down the side here without it um, cutting away like if you use some rulers the rotary cutter slice it slices into it not with these at all 23.99 for your six uh, six and a half by 12 and a half ruler i've got oh yes i've seen that oh there it is little quilting friends now who used this the other day i can't remember now Oh no, Sally Ann, what's Sally Ann? Sally Ann, Sally Ann, what's Sally Ann? Well done. Uh, this is your two and a half by six inch. This is for all your little delicate. This is a nice present, isn't it? This one. 16.99. So you've got inches down one side, you've got your little grid down the other side there, and then it's got the, uh, the, the, the grippability ones. These are the heart shapes on there. They've done them in heart shape there. Really, really sweet little ruler to have in your kit, in your pocket, in your workroom, uh, in your uh, little bag, your work bag. Or, as I say, as a little gift for your quilting friends. Beautiful, $16.99. Such a sweet little gift, isn't it? But it does all the things, even says I love my quilting friends on there. $16.99. Make sure you go through, lots of you there. Well done. Graphics out. 
Nine inch thing, Greg. Now you saw Emma using a 15 inch one. That one sold out, I think, isn't it? A 15 inch one. Yeah, 15 inch one sold out. So you saw Emma using the nine. Uh, I saw that Emma using the 15. This is the nine inch one, 14.99. Fantastic if you're doing uh, for half square triangles. Um, and also, uh, if you're doing small ones, obviously the ones that Emma was, uh, showed with us for the 10 inch layer cakes. This was if you're doing smaller ones, you've got a five inch charm pack or something like that. £14.99. So what you do is you line up. If you've got a square of fabric, right? I'll pretend this is a square. You line this up diagonally across the fabric. What you can do is you can um, use the pointer at the end to get it right into this corner of the fabric. And then you literally draw down either side, which means it's the equivalent of when sometimes we draw a line down the middle and then just sew a quarter of an inch either side. This way here, you can actually mark the lines that you're going to be sewing. £14.99. Creative Grids. Nine inch seam guide. It's weird to call it a seam guide, isn't it? Because anyway... Log cabin, it's a big one, this one. This is your 12 inch and your six inch log cabin trim tool. Now, this isn't a ruler to cut your fabrics with. What you do is this is a trim tool that you use to make sure that your log cabin or your cortez steps are absolutely precise on each round. So what you do, <coughs> excuse me, is you sew together a round, or you have your square in the middle, and then you sew together a round, and then you put it so that the central one is inside this square and then you trim off the edges so you, you know that each square is perfectly and precisely ready for when you come to do the next one but look you can do log cabin you can do quarter steps and you can do half log cabin with this and you can do six inch or 12 inch and if you go to the creative grids website or you, you go on that qr code there you can see um how it's worked but you obviously get this here as a little brochure a little yeah, yeah, this is a little brochure here. Oh, oh, there's a book on my desk here, sir. Yep. Brilliant. Right, so this here. Oh, that's gone. I moved on from that. Right, now I've got a book here. Log Cabin Quilts. Using the Creative Grid 6-inch Log Cabin Trim Tool. And this here is all patterns that you can use... <coughs> And then use the trim tool with it. So you've got Grecian. It's not just for log cabins, you see. Grecian squares. In the pocket placemat. In the pocket table square. Scrabby log cabin, $16.99. Pathway home quilt. So now, the reason this is in here is that I haven't got enough of them to make a complete... Oh! A show of these, that's brilliant, isn't it? So you get the tracing of the little house as well. There's ten left. There's only ten of these left. Oh, that's lovely. So you've got a log cabin in the background, and then the inside of the log cabin is the paler, and then you put the little house, applique the house on top of it. Cabin on the lake quilt, that's called... Oh, that's a bit too close to home, that. Chain piecing, that also has got how you actually make them, you see, and how you use the trim tool. But you, you, right now, do you need do you need to have the trim tool to make these then? I'm just saying now, if you you've got all you've got all the cutting out, like how much fabric you need, what you need to cut out, how you make the blocks, and then let's see, it says refer to page six to eight and eighteen to twenty one. Six to eight, right, here we go. Oh yeah, it's showing you how to do it, trim it down with the trim tool. So yeah, do, I would do it with the trim tool. Beautiful, final few of those. Ruler stands. Which one first? Oh, okay, it still stands then, right. Okay, right, now. So this is 10.99. This is your four strand one here, stand one here. I didn't rip that packet, everybody. It was already ripped. Right. Don't buy this yet. Don't buy it yet, right? Brilliant for all you putting your rulers in, everything standing your rulers up, you've got little space. 
We've got a little space to keep them in. It just stands all the rulers nicely there. 10, 99. Now, there are, it's uh, uh, 10, 25 centimetres long, right? Is that right? Yeah, 10 inches long. 10 inches long, 4 inches deep, right? And you can fit four slots in there. 10, 99. Right, but I've got this one here, which is twice the length and has got five slots in it. Hmm? Right, this used to be eleven ninety nine. Right, and I would say don't buy this one because a pound more you can get the big one. Right, everything's going up. This has come down. Do you know? what? I know what's happened. I know what's happened. Somebody's been typing it in like that in the office. Gone. Oh, the ruler. Yeah, that's ten, ten ninety nine. No, no, not meant. Let's make the same price. They've only ordered this one. Looked up ruler at gone ten ninety nine. That shouldn't be ten ninety nine. That'll get changed. So it was always a great buy because it was always only a pound more than this one. But now they're the same price. Now, obviously, if you've only got a small space and you want small rulers, then $10.99 is a brilliant price for that. But if you've got a bit of a bigger space, I don't understand that at all. We brought the price down. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Fantastic. We, Bruce has just gone, why? We don't know why, Bruce. Lovely. Cutting match, yeah? I've got two cutting mats here. A2 and an A3. This one here. So now, this is A2. It's inches on one side, centimetres on the other. It's by So Simple. You've got a 30 degree line. And you've, let me just double check. Forty-five degree line. And now it's not funny. They haven't marked. Oh, it's forty-five, sixty, and forty-five. Oh, you haven't got thirty. You're at sixty and forty-five. And now, no extra postage, postage for whatever shape or size we send you. It's three ninety-five for the day. Be interesting to see how that gets delivered, won't it? At fourteen ninety-nine, so you know the pellets that weigh a kilo, right? Hannah wants to buy a hundred of them just to see to make sure she only gets charged three ninety-five post of packaging, and then see how the postman copes. But she likes, she loves her postman. Oh, you've never don't see him. Oh, okay, you've never seen him all the time you lived there, apart from the day you walked into your lounge. Fourteen ninety-nine. He was in a postman's outfit. Hi, John. My mother, my mum, Heather, is a fan of your show. She watches Sewing Street every day. She's not been very well lately, but she's on the mend. Could you say hello? Oh, Julie, of course I can. Heather, Heather, get better soon, my love. Oh, I think I'm on the way out. I'm croaking my way through this show, aren't I? Doesn't hurt. Oh, I hope I haven't got... Remember, I got that, what they told me was laryngitis and didn't have a voice for a month. And then it wasn't laryngitis at all. I need to get back into my own bed tonight. That's what it is. It is, I've forgotten how comfy the spare bed is, though. And then I've got this size. Exactly the same, but smaller. Half the size, in fact. Half the size. Again, it's by So Simple. Self-healing cutting back. 12 99 This makes you realise <clears throat> how good that beginner set is, doesn't it? Because you've already seen the size of the cost of a 12 by 6 ruler. There's 12 99 for the same size cutting mat. This is in the beginner's kit. No, it's here. We're one step ahead of you, Hannah. Yeah, well, almost. Okay, I'll just do the beginner's kit again. Let me just give those to Kat. Thanks, Karen. Right, here we go. 19 pounds and 19 pence, so you get that. Oh, actually, is that the same size as that? Anyway, yeah, A3. 19.99 a3 map the 12 by 6 ruler and your rotary cutter for 19.99 now obviously they're different makes they're different makes so i'm not saying like for like but i'm just saying cut self feeling cutting mat 12 by 12 and a half by six and a half ruler and i know this rotary cutter is good because i've got this one well only because i think there was one of these beginner kits open and i went oh do you want this No. Do I want this? Um, 
No, because then what happened was uh, Hayley Bryant and Hayley, uh, our Hayley Marshall, say Wheeler came round to do that photo session and they were like, is there anything in the house that shouldn't be here? And I was like, oh, but no. I told you been around the day before. <laughs> Clear. There were big spaces and dust marks where things had been. That looks like the dust mark of an overlocker there. Yes, it is. 1999. Brilliant. 505 spray in a big tin. Now, this is the most affordable way of buying this. I'll do it that way for Bruce. Because this is 500 millilitres, right? We sell the 250 millilitre can for eight or 7.99. So you bought two of those, that would be uh, 16 pounds. 500 millilitres, 13.99 here. I uh, know. Beautiful. Five or five spray for putting your quilt uh, layers together. Uh, putting, um, just spraying onto applique shapes to put them in the right, right, you know, just to keep them temporarily there. You can move the things, it's not a permanent spray, uh, not permanent fix, and it also, don't spray it thinking, oh, it's fixed now. It's not a glue like that, it's just a temporary adhesive. That's all. At 13.99. Fat bris. Is that, that, is that 80 20 wadding down there? I'll do your swap. Thank you. 80 20 wadding. Now, how wide's this? Two and a half meters wide, this. Two and a half meters wide. 699. Now, you buy this off the bolt like you would do fabrics. So you don't get half, just half a metre unless you want half a metre. But if you know you're doing a quilt and you know you don't want to seam it or um, but, uh, what's it called? patch it or anything like that, then this way you can buy the length that you need. Um, and it's not like when you buy a king or a super king or a queen size or whatever, you've got to have their size. This way you can order it by the half metre. And it works out at £6.99 for half a metre. It's brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant! It's lovely and soft as well. Oh, lots of our designers like to use this quilt. It's not this uh, batting, it's not too heavy. And the 80% cotton keeps it light and soft. And then the 20% polyester keeps its shape when it's in the wash. Keeps it stable. Beautiful. Binding express board. Now, this is cute, I love this. Now, if you want to make perfect binding and you never know if you're getting the right size, this here, you've got two and a quarter, two and a half, and two inch binding strips. What you do is you get your fabric, you pull it through, you've cut into a strip, you pull it through the hole there, and then you iron it like this. And so you, well, there you go, there's a picture there of them doing it. You pull it through the hole that you want and iron at the same time, and it creates the perfect width binding. £31.99, this is from June Taylor, very popular, sold out the very first time we had it. Two inch, two and a quarter and two and a half inch. You literally feed the strip through the slot to fold, then press. It's brilliant, isn't it? Such a simple idea. Just have it on your table when you're doing your binding for quilting. Got another cut and press here from June Taylor, which is one we use all, all the time. I'll just show you the clean one here. This is how yours will arrive. So on this side, pressing mat, right? Now, don't ever worry that these shape, these measurements are gonna go out of shape because the inventors, no, they're not called inventors. He's like an inventor. Developer, developer. They have developed a fabric and a paint on it. They draw it on, then they bake it and it shrinks to that size, so it's exactly the right size. So on that side, it's a pressing mat, or what do you do when you do knitting and you, and you um, block it, you block it, right? But then on this side, it's a, a cutting mat. Now this cutting mat, also developed by their developers, it's not a self-healing mat, but they've developed it so that when you cut through it with your rotary cutter, it only cuts the fabric, it doesn't cut the board. So it means your blades last longer and your board lasts longer. I'm just, keep an eye on that because I'm just going to take a swig of my ginger water.
Thank you. That's better. And you can hang it, hang it from there as well. No, yeah, yeah. Um, John, can I use 50% bamboo and 50% cotton wadding to make weight drive bowls? Yes, yes, you can do. Uh, the only ones you can't use are the ones that have metal in them, like uh, th uh, um, Insulbrite. Any that I've got, we've got, we had one today actually, I don't know what make it was. You can't use it, if it's got a metal strand through it, then you can't use it. Do, do you mean the bowls that you put your soup bowl in, you put it in the microwave, a what? Like a bowl cozy, is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, you can do. Oh, it's, oh hang on, it's on that side. I'm going to show you here, but yeah, you can do. Why would you think you couldn't? Because of the bamboo. Um, the thing is, I always thought those bowl cozies was you, you cook the soup and then you took the bowl out and you put it... Oh, yeah, and then you've got to touch the bowl, I suppose, haven't you? A bowl's supposed to get hot when they're in the microwave, then. Make sure your bowl hasn't got any metallic on it. Do they? With the rim. She hasn't got a microwave, she doesn't know. Bruce, if you put a bowl of soup in the microwave, does the bowl get hot on the, even on the top bit, or not, all over? Oh, okay. So you do need your cosy in there then. The trouble is, oh no, it's because I'm, I'm really lazy, right? So if I'm heating a baked potato in mine, I don't put it on a plate, I just put it straight on the thing. And then if I have a pan au chocolat, that goes in there for 20 seconds, right? Don't put it on a plate. So when I come to do my next baked potato, it's got chocolate all over it. Except I don't do, not baked potato, that's a bad, that's because I don't do baked potatoes in there, but you know what I mean. What else would you put in a microwave? Don't know, mine just sits there. My, my microwave literally has a lamp on the top of it in the kitchen, and then all my Tupperware dishes. And, and this, when I'm not in, in work, this is on the top of there. And you know that big pink bottle I bought with two and a half litres of water or whatever, that I never use anymore, that's on top of there as well. So I don't really use the microwave apart from... <laughs> just my pan of chocolate. <laughs> And I only have pan of chocolate like once a, once a month. Pan of chocolate. And then when, when it was Dulcie's party, we had pan of chocolates that I cooked in the oven, so I didn't even use them then. How fun. It's a pan of chocolate heater. A very expensive pan of chocolate heater. No, hang on, I must do something. I don't do baked... No, I don't do baked beans in it. What else do you put in a microwave? I don't, oh no, there's none left to reheat. If I've cooked it, I've eaten it. Oh yes, Bruce, you're right. I've got some of those. Uh, I've got rice packets, quinoa packets, and there's another one where you, where you slice the top. Egg, fr egg fried rice, egg fried rice. You slit, do the top two centimeters. Yeah, I use those. Except if you go to, which, I can't remember which of the slimming clubs it was I went to, but if you cooked rice in a pan, free but if you cook nice and rice in a microwave it was two points but it's still rice be it no well is, it, is there oil in the one oh, anyway she couldn't explain it to me but but now i've got to start my i've got to start i've been out and i've bought oh, lots of frozen vegetables so that i can start making more soups and kind of um yeah they all just gone in the freezer and they'll sit there and then six months time i'll go oh they have had these months i'll chuck those in the bin next Stripology extra large. Now, I would tell you to buy this, and when it arrives, go to the Stripology, uh, uh, go to the um, Creative Grimms website and watch all the things you can do on this, or put it into our YouTube, and you'll see some of our guests using it. This is mainly mainly used for cutting strips, but you can cut strips, you can square off, you can cut triangle, triangles, you can cut diamonds, you can cut hexes, you can cut uh, sub-cutting, you can do uh, so much stuff with this. You've even got an extra quarter inch uh, mark on this one, so you can do it with the extra quarter of an inch and everything. 69.99. Now I know, I know, I know it seems like a lot of money, but you go on the Facebook fan page and just say, who loves their stripology extra large and you'll be inundated oh sandy cooks everything in her microwave i'm sure presume it's a girl sandy what else is there to go in there you see because uh, i am um, what else do I, I, I don't have popcorn isn't that fun now that what a waste of a space oh no 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 sometimes when my um what's that now, in an emergency, no, 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 I've got a, 
It's not Netflix. What, who are the people? Nespresso. I've got a milk frother. Sometimes I can't bother getting out, so I just put it in the milk, the soya milk in a jug and put it in the microwave. So it's a pan au chocolat and a soya milk heater. But then I just read, I've got a bit of a rash on my hand, you see, and I read that soya milk can give you a rash. So don't tell me I'm going to be allergic to that now as well. I'll, I'll go, I'll buy some oat milk on the way home, see if it goes. Right. Under £20 bundles from Anna Maria. These were scheduled for the 8 a.m. show, so I'm sorry you've still been waiting for them. Which one would you like to do first? Four Anna Maria prints, or, yep, uh, yep. Two of the, uh, ooh. Yep, these two. These two. Orange one first. Right, so in here, Anna Maria. Anna Maria. Anna Maria. Right, well, let's, oh, we put, we put the graphics in already, but I was going to say, this should be 7 99 shouldn't it? That should be 7 99 7 99 7 99 Four eights are 32. This should be 32 pounds minus 4p, shouldn't it? Am I right? If you're buying them by the half metre, that would cost you 7.99, that would cost you 7.99, that would cost you 7.99, and that would cost you 7.99. But you're getting all four of those. Just mixed all different collections. They're nice, that's bookshelves, isn't it, that one? Oh no, it's not, it's, it's called the something. I thought it was called bookshelves, that one. It's something clever about books anyway, that one, isn't it? Then you've got this one here, which is your... Oh, they've all been cut off. All the names have been cut off, never mind. Then you've got your delphinium in pink. And then you've got... I like this one. It's kind of like the leaf. Shadow of a leaf or the ghost of a leaf. And it's called canna lily, that one. Beautiful. My microwave is an air fryer and a combi oven. Oh, Wow. Sharon. Oh, Diana, she uses her microwave for storing her bread. Doesn't heat it in there, she just stores it in there. Oh, I'm messing up the time. I do scrambled eggs in my microwave. They're not dry when I make them. Oh, I love scrambled eggs in a saucepan though, because you can. We do porridge in our microwave, best ever, and custard. Porridge and custard, Carolyn, in the same bowl. I have to say, I had custard on Christmas Day. It was delicious. Vanilla custard. Delicious. Oh, hang on. Uh, Paula says, do you have a creative grid ruler with you? 24 by 6. Yes, yes. Looking to invest after Emma's recommendations. Yes, it's here. It's here. Right, the single figures on that bundle. Sorry, I got carried away then. Right. It should be £32 minus 4 pence, that. Right. Here's the ruler, Paula. So it's that again. Yeah, 32 minus 4p is 31.96. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. This is your six and a half by 24, Paula. That's it there. I think it's, tw uh, I'm not going to say it out loud because I get it wrong. Oh, it's right, 28.99. 28.99. Beautiful. Okay, now the next bundle is this one here. Thirty-one ninety-six, thirty-two pounds minus four p. She was like, "No, John, it's not. It's not. It is." Butterflies. Different collections there. Beautiful. That one is hindsight ghost nouveau. Oh, well remembered, Hannah. What's this one? No, Stitch Bouquet, I thought you knew. Yeah, that one's your Delphiniums again there. And then I don't quite know what that one's called. Rough, rough draft, not rough day. <laughs> there you go, there's the four fabrics there. Should be 32 pounds minus four pence. But it's not, it's 19.99. For two meters of Anna Maria purples, they've called it purples. Brilliant. Paul has ordered the ruler. That's excellent. There you go. Thank you, Cap. Now. Oh, right. These bundles have got Anna Maria Horner plus a solid. Uh, there's three of them. Pink one first. So you get half a metre 
of Anna Maria stars, half a me meter of Anna Maria stitches, half a meter of seed pods, and half a meter of salmon. So if you bought these three together, it's uh, 24 pounds minus threepence, right? And then that, so that already, and then we've thrown in that as well. That bundle should cost you 27 96 No, they're lovely. Worth waiting for. Beautiful. Love that star, that pink star on there. It reminds you of what? You have star fruit in your fruit bowl quite often then. 1899. So it reminds Hannah of a fruit she's never ever had. I think I had it once in, in the, uh, when I was in Solution. I hated it. No, what's the one they give them in the desert? No, not in the desert, in the jungle. And it, they, it looks like a fruit and then it tastes like... That's a fruit. I thought that was a dragon fruit. Anyway. Oh, yes, I know. I've never had dragon fruit. It's white with like little black speckles in it, isn't it? Oh. Okay, that's that bundle. Then am I going to blue or green? Blue. So you've got half a metre of the, Mar Mar not Maria, Anna Maria Horner seed pods. You've got half a metre of the cereal bowls. And you've got half a metre of stitched flowers. And you've got half a metre of, that looks like Copen to me, might not be. 18.99 again, way too low, way too low. I love this one, cereal bowls. It's not called cereal bowls, it's called stacked. Oh, uh, single figures on this one now, single figures on this bundle. Seventy-six. Twenty-seven seventy-six. How much this is supposed to be? Gorgeous. That's the blue one. All these bundles are now in single figures. Then I've got the one in green. So I've got the art. Uh, now this one features in a lot of quilts. This one doesn't it? It's a geometric one. So then that one's rough drawing, draft, rough draft. That one must be called geometrics or something. That one's called no to and from. <laughs> Nothing like geometrics. And then this one here is your big delphiniums. Oh, it doesn't tell me what it is, but it's a big delphinium. And then, then she just said, and I put one of my favourite fabrics in, jade. <laughs> jade is in there. You're Harry Potter. Oh, very posh. 18.99. Somebody needs to take Christmas decorations down next door, don't they, really? 1899. It's because little Paul's not in. £18.99. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, that's that one. Now, I've still got another fabric here. And I, oh, no, I've got a bundle, which isn't Anna Maria, but it's complimentary. And I've got an extra wide backing, I think that might be. Extra wide backing, first of all. Look, this is uh, 108 inches wide. Anna Maria Horner, big uh, delphinium. These are whopping great big delphiniums, aren't they? Thirteen ninety nine for half a metre. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Fabulous colours in there. See, again, she's very, very... She takes risks with colours, doesn't she? And you kind of... If you saw them in a paint pot, you'd think, oh, we'll put those together. But actually, when you see them together, they're beautiful, aren't they? Thirteen ninety nine. That's that one. Now, What?
Okay, solid dual fabric. So what were you thinking? Amethyst? Jade? Oh, listen. What gemstone is that then? A morganite, she says. They're all topazes. Purple topaz, pink topaz and green topaz. £11.37. Half a metre of each. £11.37. Lovely, moving on. Now, this morning's um, early bird, the first of the early birds, was Arna Maria Horner, five inch charm pack. Should be 16.99. We sold hundreds of these at eight o'clock, I'm surprised there's any left. 14.99. Arna Maria Horner, Fluent, this is our brand new range, which was very popular. We did this by the half meter. In that hour, 14.99, beautiful, beautiful fabrics look. Beautiful look. Love that one. What, what was that one called again? It's obviously lace, isn't it? It's like a lace, but it's not called that. And then you've got the beautiful... That was your um, tiled roses. Roses tiled, that one. Tilt. Oh, love that one. Bit more tilt there. Just gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. Fa lovely colours. Gorgeous look. Fourteen ninety nine. Oh, there's the urns one, the vase one. Just lovely, aren't they? Very, very popular. Fourteen pounds nine ten pence. Now remember, because it's been crashed at midnight, it will go back up to its original price. Fabulous. Yeah, they're there. at the end of that, is that it? We also had a second early bird this morning, which was the threads, the Arna Maria threads. Now you've got different weights in here, look. Oops. I often got, now, I'm not surprised we only got a single. This is the price, right? That it should be. Look what Hannah did. The lowest it's ever been is 129.99. Today, 99.99 for all these threads. For all of these are, are Aurifil threads, right? Egyptian cotton taken to Italy and created. Now look, you've got 12 weight, which is your lovely thick thread. You've got 50 weight on a big spool and a small spool. And you've got 80 weight, which are the very, very fine for EPP or for um, reverse applique. And the colours are gorgeous. The thing is, you might not be an Arna Maria Horner fan, but you might love the colours that she's chosen for this collection. Look. There are your 50 weights there, and your bright colours. These are your 50 weights on big spools, and your lovely, beautiful lavender and grey and coffee tone. And then these are your 12 weights, your lovely big thick threads. All of those for 99.99. It should be 149.99. You've still got 8,200 metres in total. I uh, know. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Can't get them. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. Hasn't gone away properly. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. Uh. Okay. No, that's not that one. That's that one. Get, uh, keep talking, keep talking. I'll tell me what to do. Ambrosia.
Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready now. Ambrosia, barley snaps. Remember the... Oh, sorry, can't, I can't get those away. Right, here we go. On the website, it just looks like you get one green one. You don't. You get all these beautiful pastel tones. Now, it's a... Should be 16 99 It was an early bird with Stuart at the beginning of the week at 14 99 And the, look, beautiful pastel tones. If you're doing a Delphine confetti quilt, if you're doing like lovely half square triangles, if you're gonna make the wall hanging that Emma just did. Beautiful, aren't they, look. Such a lovely array of colours in there. Fourteen ninety nine. No, no. The um, rainbow suite sold out, and there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of those. How many of these have got left? Shh. Okay, this, I'm going to be honest with you. Thirty nine not checked out. But there's an awful lot of people got in the... Uh, how many? 64 in baskets. So that'll sell out by the end of today. If you check out, that will sell out by the end of today. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely. Right, where next then? What is this? I've just seen it by the machine. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. It's a mode of fabric. What range is this then? Is it called a... Oh, Chickadee. I love it. I can't imagine what the other ones look like. I was going to say, this is like a standalone fabric, isn't it, on its own? £7.49, half a metre. Mm. It's not extra wide, it's just your normal 44 inches wide, 100% cotton. It's lovely. I could think of so many things to make. I'm, I'm thinking handbags, to be honest, but I don't know why. It's lovely. I love the way the colours all just merge. Oh, actually, 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 I love the way the colours all just merge into each other. Go lovely with those barley, uh, barley snaps. It is like a watercolour painting. It is, exactly. Beautiful. You're buying it off the roll, right? It's 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Look. Oh. It's in a little tank top. Lovely. Moving on. I've done what? Aurafil Calm. Thank you. So, it's what? Five spools of 80 weight, this. Oh, they're pretty colours, aren't they? Beautiful colours. So this is your uh, 80 weight, so good for your EPP. Good for your uh, reverse applique. Because the higher the number, the thinner the thread. But not, you don't lose any strength. Is that the right words? Did I use the right words then? Yeah. Higher the number, the finer the thread, but you don't lose any of the strength with it being finer. 274 metres on each spool. That's why they're on small spools. They're gorgeous, aren't they? And they're not pe cherry wood. They're on cherry wood. Cherry wood. Oh. It says on the Aurofil uh, website that you can use it on your machine for free motion quilting. And machine, app I can understand machine applique. I'll ask, I'll ask, we'll ask uh, Delphine when she comes in next. We'll have another row on air. Oh, several rows yesterday. Everything I said was wrong. Oh, I said I'd make the rabbit as this one. She went, well, I wouldn't. She said, you always have to do this. And I said, well, no, everything's personal. No, it's not. I've designed it so the blue, I was like, this what? Yes. Yes. Anyway, 32 99 those gorgeous threads. I 
I thought these dolls sold out the Karen K. Buckley scissors. I only got the curved ones. $22.99. You can use these if you're left-handed or right-handed. Protective plastic cover. Comfortable soft handles. Micro serrated blades grabs the thread rather than pushing it away like in oh that said emotional then <laughs> like a traditional scissor. There's your little um sheath to keep over the over the end so it doesn't get sharp and you stab yourself with them. Clipping close without damaging the fabric, cutting away stabilizers, clipping threads for sewing, embroidery, and quilting. It's the only one we've got left, they say only we haven't got any of the others. In fact, didn't Emma, I think Emma had some on in a, uh, well, they're in, I saw them in a sewing box earlier. $22.99. Beautiful. Oh, sorry, Kat. I'll pick it up. No, no, it fell, it put it there and it toppled off the table. Where are we going next? Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Is this it? The dotty one. Look. So does it change colour? You ready? I just went oh, there's Bruce right. Orange. It's not rainbow. It's orange. Orange bubbles. This one's called. So it's two and a half meters wide. Twelve meters. You get on there. Beautiful. Let's the sarcasm, Bruce. <laughs> He's enjoying himself. That's the main thing. Paint the whole world with an orange. <laughs> well, no, that's a bruised orange there. OK, he's making up a song now. It's time for Bruce to go home. Now he's got to come in tomorrow as well. Yeah, he's got tomorrow to do, yeah. Oh, I, you know what? I'd love to work in a supermarket. Not like it is now. I'd hate this beep, beep, beep. But in the old days when you used to go, £19.50, £6.50, and you'd have to press the key. I love that. I know. Sad. Thank you. I think that was Father Christmas one year for a cash register. I was really put out when it was one you could just do that with, and that was it. I didn't want... Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Anyway. Hannah asked for a ladder one year. How old were you? Five. Where were you climbing to? Up to the roof. No one do you think. And they gave it to you. Father Christmas brought it for you. She's worrying. So she asked Father Christmas for a ladder. He brought her a ladder that you normally buy to go on bunk beds so she could only climb on next door's extension garage. The flat roof on the garage. Anyway, should we do not? Should we do an, uh, do something? Menu. Tomorrow, bulk buy bundles at eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Emma Brassfield is in doing the Studio Seventy Seven, sealed with a loving kiss bag. That's what swalk means, isn't it? Sealed with a loving kiss. Well, no, swalk is sealed with a loving kiss. That's what you used to write on the back of envelopes on your love letters. Then we've got dressmaking fabrics and tools. Oh, well, that's in there. Then we've got the Nabet bag. Oh, that sounds. Oh, and journal with Emma Brassfield. I wonder what the Nabet bag. Now, uh, the first man who did, I had the. Um, uh, no, no, collagen. In, I had, what's it called? Hyaluronic acid injected into my face. He was called Dr. Nabet. I wonder if she's named it after him. And then at 12 o'clock, I've got stunning quilt kits. I, I didn't, I didn't, I obviously don't go anymore. No. Who was I talking to the day they'd, got, they'd gone off their Botox? And they said to me, do you have it then? And I was like, I'd be asking for my money back if I had Botox, wouldn't I? Have we got next door's menu? Who's producing? Oh, they're just not doing it anymore. Fine, that's fine. Do they do ours in the morning? No. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Thanks for your company take. Now, you've got to check out on the, those, um, uh, uh, the early bird... You need to check out on that one. And the Ambrose one, you need to check out. 
Ambrosia, Ambrosia one you need to check out on, and the threads, and the Cave 10 inch sharp axe, there's lots of you sitting out within your baskets. I'm going home now so you can check out and have a lovely afternoon. I'll see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock.